This episode of Champ and the Tramp is brought to you by Bubba Coos Burritos. It is my go-to spot. I go there all the time. I bang in there on lunch sometimes when I'm working. Sometimes I pick up an order for the whole family. Last time I went in, I got the chicken queso curly fries. Damn, hit so good. Bubba Coos, get there today. Boom. Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's got to be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man, F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in. You already know what that's about. You know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task. Check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp. Let the bomb blast. Here's a runner, here's a track star. <laughs> Shit, Corey got a voice on him. Look at that. Yeah, don't lie. Come on, R&B. R&B, baby. <sighs> What's up, everybody? Do we got a welcome back? No. Fuck him. No, fuck him. Thanks for hanging out with us. I got my <laughs> man Corey Anderson in the building. What's going on? 25-8, OT, the hunting man, the father. He's about to win the Grand Prix of Bellator. Yes, he is. Lightweight uh, championship. Like, Heavyweight championship. Light heavyweight. To me, he's the best light heavyweight in the world. Win over the current UFC champion, and uh, he's my dude. And we gotta, have, you know what? I think we have to actually make this a little quick because I think Rogers booked to teach the Jazzer size class <laughs> after this, so we gotta keep it a little quick. <laughs> hey, what are we? A minute in already? You're going in on me? A minute into the podcast. Bro, all, right, guys, stay I, I, tuned all later. You need, all you need is, is out Vel- if you had Velcro, Velcro shoes, shoes yeah. you'd look like my grandfather. You remember, vo- <laughs> remember <laughs> you Zumba? Yeah. Voits. You remember those sneakers? Voits. Voits, yeah. We used to wear yeah. those when we were kids, yeah. So, right, so the poor kids Cor, got made fun of. Cor, like when, me. when you um, when you came in last time, it was, it was, I don't think you I started. I remember. I don't know if I was in the tournament or not. I, I'm not sure. I don't think I started. No, yeah. I think I had my debut fight. That was it. Yeah. I don't even think I fought yet. Yeah, I don't know if you did. Yeah, dude, what a tear you've been on, man. You really have. Fuck, dude. We appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. It's fun to watch. It's fun to be in there, man. Since uh, I left, it's weird to say, what's this new aura around you? I'm just having fun. You, you really you. haven't been in there long, man. Most of your wins are first round, a couple minutes in. Bader was what, two minutes in? Uh, 51 seconds, yeah, that, two rounds, three rounds. You know, they all been <laughs> five-round fights, but I've been getting them out of there. Yes, you have, sir. You I mean, have. just having fun again. That was it. Yeah. Just a change of place, change of pace, same thing. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. I'm mm-hmm. happy for you. You know that. I, I, like, uh, I always t- talk about Corey when I talk about hard workers, and uh, <clears throat> you're definitely the uh, top of the shelf when it comes to that stuff. And like a new kid comes to the gym, I'm like, you know, especially big guys. It's hard for for a little guy to to you know train with Corey, but a big guy comes. Oh, I want I want to get. I think like, mirror this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Whatever he does, do. Then you'll get go get better. Am I right? Yeah, but it's hard for them to do that. Yeah, <laughs> they think he does absolutely. too much. He goes too mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. You saw Moody. You heard him. Yeah, yeah. Ricardo said he was crying. Said I was mean. I was like, I'm not mean. I'm just hard. You yeah, know? you're, you're I want to be the best. That's it. I'm not here mm-hmm. to be second place and half ass. I'm like, oh, I'll let you go easy today. It's like, no, we're gonna go mm-hmm. hard all the time. No off rounds, baby. Yeah, and no if you can't rounds. take it, I'm not the one you want to be around. So. Is that where overtime comes from? Just because you just it. you're there. You're the first guy in the gym and the last guy to leave. You're always putting in the overtime. Is that kind of the the original name was Beast in 25-8. My brother gave me that. He was like, because college is the same thing. I would got to practice, come home, like summertime, training, come home, eat, and go right back. You're like, bro, chill. It's the summer. Like, I can't. I got to get this work. Because mm-hmm. if everybody in the world say you're going 24-7, bro, you like 25-8. Uh, I <laughs> thought that was the street address, 25-8. <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, then Frankie and Eddie actually, when uh, well, Mark brought it up, came up with the 10 top worst names. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like number two or number one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and marketing was like, we need to find something new. Uh, and Frankie. Wait, and who beat you? Who had the worst? What was it? Uh, I don't even remember. But I was at the top. I remember Mark was like, that's just embarrassing. You make this look bad. You're like at the top for the worst names. Not, nothing good. So. And that's where overtime came from, from him and Eddie. Yeah, I remember man. the first time I met you, man. You remember Subway? That's Subway, yeah. Yeah, man. You, you just, he just come off the show. He just won. Obviously, you were the coach there, and, uh, you know, he's in Tom's River now. And uh, I left the gym. Me and me and the ex left the gym, and we just went to Subway right next door, and Corey was in there. And you actually came up to us, man. I was like, this dude's a likable guy, I heard nice the guy, voice. Man. Like, I remember sitting there eating myself. I remember the exact same thing. The same thing. I left Tom's River Fitness right across the street. And I heard that voice. I'm like, that voice sounds familiar. Yeah. And you started talking again. I looked. 
That's a big ass. Was, he, was he getting yelled at by Jenny? <laughs> no, they were talk, talking about what they wanted or something like that. Roger. And I went up, like, hey, Roger, right? It's like, oh, I'm Corey. I was on the show with Frankie. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I heard about you. And yeah, no, I watched you, man. Yeah. Frankie's still pretty tight wait. with Jared. <laughs> yeah, <fuck laughs> that out. was so, so wait, but you said you said you said you get the same sandwich. Same. What is it? What is it? Uh, uh, Italian. Okay, well, how do you, how you, how you eat your Italians? Spinach. Uh, <laughs> I eat your Italians, buddy. <laughs> Watch how you say that. Pause. <laughs> I get the spinach, tomato, Italian, or uh, gyanara peppers, banana peppers, jalapeno pepper, and chipotle sauce. All right. Subway was my jam for a while, man. I went to Subway. Oh, I haven't been. Bro, there when in a long I when time. I was in college, there was a Subway, and we thought that was like eating healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for wrestling, that's what we eat every day on the road. Yeah. Every time I was on the road, uh, Coach Subway. Yeah. That was it. So you think it is healthy. So you, you got carbs, fighting. protein, a yeah. little bit of dairy, get some vegetables with the lettuce. <laughs> it's not really good when for you. When you're young, you know, you're, you're, when you're young like that, it I feel like matter. you just don't Your matter. Body you're just burning so many calories. Bro, if I was a quarter yeah. pound under, I'd get a junior bacon cheeseburger yeah. from fucking Wendy's. <laughs> Who was it? You said your, was it your dad, your grandfather, someone wouldn't let you get the fries? You could only get the burger? Was that you? What? No, nah, maybe somebody was in here. I thought it was you. Oh, no, Cody. Uh, oh, Cody, yeah, remember? Yeah, 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 Cody's yeah. grandfather, he missed weight one time. It was a story. Cody, uh, he said, my grandfather would always let me get the, whatever, quarter pound or whatever it was, but he said no fries. And this one time I got the fries and I missed weight. So he blamed it on the fries. I mean, I remember in high school, <sighs> Coach like, oh, what are you planning on eating? And it's get on the scale, whatever you're going to eat. Kids yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told Tito that. What could I have? I said, stand on it where you're holding it. You <laughs> figure where you're good, you can eat it. <laughs> I remember my, my first day in a fighter house at a roofer sport, like the first week I tried it, I showed up with a whole backpack full of chunky soup. I'm like, what are you eating? They all got baked chicken and spinach and shit. Like, I'm eating chunky soup. But that ain't healthy. Like, it is healthy. The NFL players use it. I seen an NFL commercial. Oh, that was Donovan McNabb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're like, bro, that is not healthy at all. Like, it's so much salt and this. And I will smack every day. Get on the training. It's funny uh, what you think is healthy, uh, though. Yeah. You know? then you, I'll never it. forget. Me and Renee were in a health class in college. We took, like, a, a summer health class. I was up there training anyway. I'm like, let me take a... Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're like three week intensive, you know, just every day, two and a half hours. You get you get three credits, like a full semester. <clears throat> I took this health class, and the lady was telling us like about, you know, you know how all oh, chicken wings have so much grams of fat, like fat is so bad, and we want to get good grains and whole grains. And I remember going to the store like, oh shit, like we bought you know brand new pasta, you know the wheat pasta, the yeah. wheat bread, this and that. That shit's not good for you either. Right. Like right, right, you know right, what I right. mean. Fats, that is good for you. Don't mm-hmm. tell Todd Frazier that. That's all the guy eats <laughs> chicken fingers. Literally. He's yeah. A, he's yeah. a specimen of an yeah. athlete. He eats worse than anybody you know. I mean, think you can eat whatever if you work it off. And, uh, yeah. Oh, he don't work it off. Bro. He's just naturally gifted, bro. <laughs> Todd, no. He's Todd, gifted. Todd doesn't like working out. He doesn't like working out. No. I don't get him. His, his go-to That's meal crazy. is chicken I fingers. I enjoy working out. And he's a next level athlete. It's crazy. It almost doesn't make sense. But well, you know, like Rex, Rex don't eat vegetables and fruit and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, how, what like is he? He, he, he just all he eats is meat, but his okay. meat is like well, well. Like there's yeah, not bro, a drop of we were blood. talking about that. That's crazy. Like we man. went to Vegas. I never forget we went to Vegas. Me, him, and Carl we went to PI, and uh, he went and got this big old pack of burgers, and the burgers are like this. Like, oh, them's gonna be fire. And he put one on the skillet. We get home. It's like seven o'clock, like seven fifteen. I come out of the room like Rex. I think those burgers done. Like, no, not yet. <laughs> Oh what? yeah, so like twenty more minutes. I come back like, yo, Rex and Rex, like it's smoky. <laughs> the whole house comes full oh, of that's smoke. The worst. Like, yo, what are you doing? Like, I don't want no blood. I want them yeah, all the way done. That's that's the the worst, this. They went from that like this worst. to probably the size of his lit when it was over. Like, bro, uh, you got like half dollar sausage patties now. How do you like, eat when there's that? no blood in it? And he just wait, just Who is this? We're Rex about? Harris. Rex, yeah. He's guy fighting train with, yeah, he's main event in the C F F C He's a guy you see him, you think he eat his vegetables, weed it. Really? A fucking just freak. Just 39 shredded. years shredded old, but jack. just shredded yeah. from head to toe. Just. Isn't it crazy how genetics works? Yeah. It is. I met his little brother. His little brother is like six, seven. He's a basketball star. He's Jack too. Like, six, seven? Yeah, he's like Damn. thick. That tall dude that half comes sparse. Yeah, 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 yeah. About the same height as him, but he's just thick and same build. Uh-huh. But they both say we lift every day. Uh-huh. So. Rex lifts every day, though. Yeah, every day. Seven right. days a week. Yeah, that matters. That helps. I've been fucking hitting it, baby. I've been lifting a little bit. Have you? <laughs> trying to, yeah. <laughs> trying to get back to doing shit. I ran a little bit for 10 minutes. Yeah, Catones are down here in the basement. Catones. Yeah. <clears throat> Usually, nice. yeah. I'll do some neck stuff. The Iron Neck, neck baby. Yeah. Iron yeah. Neck. Oh, I remember when I... I was using it on Instagram. Like, that thing don't work. I look like... Don't do nothing. No, I said, like, oh, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rogan. We're Rogan's got one, right? Yeah. Uh, how was your, speaking of Rogan, how was, I mean, obviously Frankie did the show too, but how was your experience there? I watched it. 
you know, you guys, I mean, he's a big, big time archery guy, obviously. You took your bow out when you mm -hmm. went, right? Yeah. What was that whole experience like, man? I mean, I mean it was fun. Like, I thought he was having me out to talk hunting, but it was two hours of fighting and whatnot. Then the last hour, when he was ready to sign off, I was like, no, nah, I want to talk yeah, some hunting. Yeah, yeah. Then we talked hunting for a while and went and shot the bow. He got a, uh, like, virtual reality yeah, like type a virtual thing. Or all that, so, yeah. yeah, oh, that was fun. It was cool. That's now, awesome. how long have you been hunting? I've been bow hunting since I was 16. I've been hunting since I was a kid. Wow. Your, your father hunts? Yeah. Okay. My great-grandfather hunted. Yeah. Everybody in I my think family. Joe just started hunting, kind of. Yeah, well, recently, yeah. like six, seven years ago. Yeah, that's pretty pretty new. Oh, yeah, he's really into it. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. a really good advocate for it, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's he's very knowledgeable about what he talks about. And Yeah, I'd like know. to go, man. I keep saying it. Well, we're going to go do this. You've been show saying it for two years. I know, I know, bro. I know. <laughs> is there a, but is I've there been a, having, I had fucking two surgeries. And I was, yeah. Is there a, a rumor that you, you might be leaving us? You might Eventually be moving? Eventually, I'm going to move. Yeah, when I'm done fighting, yeah. I'm not staying in New Jersey. All right, all right. Where are you, going? Busy. you going back home? No, nah, we're Midwest, but not home. Okay. We're going to Indiana. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Where in Indy? You have anywhere picked out? Near Indianapolis, you know, mm -hmm. uh, my old wrestling coach, Stephen Bradley. Yeah, he yeah. started a program at Marion University. Oh, nice. So I've already talked to him and going to go over there and help them and start oh. my own gym in that area. Nice. There's not many gyms there. I went out and did the recruiting. And All right. I know it's two gyms where Chris, one gym where Chris Lido and Matt Mitrione oh, okay, used to yeah, train, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, which is like a PAL. And then a kid I went to college with, him and his dad got an MMA gym, which yeah. is also very small, but like an hour out. So if I went down and just started a big gym like Nick Jones or something. Chris, doesn't he do the commentary, yeah. Chris Lytle, for uh, Bare Knuckle? For or Bare Knuckle, no? yeah, yeah. yeah. he's Bare Knuckle for, yeah. the, for the... <clears throat> The the one that is how many are there, are there a bunch of bare knuckles? It's I a think few different is, ones. Right? They got yeah. bare knuckle, the BK FC, yeah, right. the BK FC. That's oh. the big one. Then they yeah, got yeah. BYB, and it's another one. Or BI, BYB is the one in the triangle ring. Mm. And there's another one. I can't remember the other one. Which one's he with? The B, He's with the, the actual the bare knuckle. BK, yeah, I, I, I did I did his podcast not too long ago. Good dude, Chris. He is man. I used to watch him fight. Man, he was He's a firefighter. I know. Mm -hmm. I yeah. know. Yeah, that, his coach was actually um. The head chair or the head of the police department, that something that was a boxing coach at the PAL. So I went down and met all those guys with Coach Brown. And it was all cool. Yeah, they all was like, "Oh, you open the gym here? We'll come in and help. Yeah. We'll run some stuff in there." So that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's the end game. You think for you? Yeah, the hunting show that and coaching. You know, my dream job was always a coach. Yeah. You know, I did it for two years prior and. uh I would have kept doing it, but I made a deal with my heavyweight. Like, you win nationals, you get your goal, I'm going to get mine. Mm. And he won nationals. He said, all right, coach, it's your turn. So told the coach, hey, I'm done. Got to go somewhere else so I can be good and win this whole show and mm -hmm. get my UFC belt. Well, now it's Bellator. So. Yeah. That's awesome, man. You're happy with the move, obviously? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. For people that don't know, obviously, it works a little differently. I mean, you're, you're in a tournament style for – um, only, only for, yeah, this, only not for oh, this, right, right. Yeah. But how does how does that work for people that don't follow that? Is, t is it eight man, ten man? It started off eight man, eight man, yep. right? Now it's down to the final two. Okay, but so they're all every weight class, eight man. No, no, no. Well, they, no. See, that's the thing. It's only they do them. They, they do them. Well, they're doing. They're doing light heavyweight right now, and they're also doing one. They're doing one thirty five. One thirty five tournament right it now. All, too, that right? didn't start that one year, right? No, oh, it hasn't yeah, started. Yeah, okay. It's like all they, about they, their recruit class. Yeah. They get a bunch of high name guys in, yeah. and everybody like, oh, this guy should get a title shot. That's how mine happened. Okay. I came in by myself. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're gonna get a title shot next right away. Blah blah blah. Then Rumble sign. Then they like, oh well, who gets it between him? He got then beat Yo, though, right? Yeah, but then Yo, no, he won and got hurt. Yo lost, but then Yo got signed. And they're like, well, we got three top guys that just came over. Who gets a title shot? Yeah. And it was like, the only way we can figure it out is just make the top eight guys in our division all fight down. Right. Put the champ in it, the belt on the line every round, and uh, the winner walks away with it all, the Grand Prix and the title. So. But you're fighting in a shorter span of time, obviously. I mean, you're packed. You're well, it was originally supposed to be, then the pandemic hit, and right. the arenas was right, hard to get right, a hold right, of. Right. And then I guess the champ was kind of beat up at the end, beginning of this year because it was supposed to fight in February, and now we're just yeah. waiting to – here, what's gonna happen gotcha, next? Gotcha. He wants to heal all the way before he takes another beating. <laughs> <You know? laughs> the crazy thing is, like, I knocked Bader out in 51 seconds, and he's fighting this weekend. I know. And he that. ended up winning, and it's been six months, and he still ain't ready to fight. It's now like, he know. he had he had two belts though, right? He was light heavyweight he and, was heavyweight? Light heavyweight right. and heavyweight. He's still the awesome. heavyweight now, right? Yeah, he's still, defending yeah. the heavyweight belt uh, Friday or Saturday. I guess so. Nimkov's coach and trainer. Oh, it's coach. Yeah. Damn, bro. There's yeah. A few yeah. names over there I can't even pronounce. Yeah. I don't know about Russian you, guys. Yeah. Nemkov. No, not that one. This, um, the heavyweight intern. Yeah, name? what's his name? I don't even exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> mm. A Russian. That uh, seventy pounder from Bellator is good. The champ. The yeah. guy ITT. Yeah. yeah. 
grappling guy. Oh fuck, I forgot his name. But he's uh like Ukrainian. He's mm-hmm. Ukrainian, right? Yeah. Well he trained with ATT. I remember we was uh for my last fight he was out there. He was like, Oh, you wanna you wanna move around? Like, nah, bro, I'm gonna <laughs> fight. And he asked Rex and Rex was like, I'm cool. <laughs> he didn't realize it was the champ though. Yeah, yeah. And after like, wait, was that the champ? I wanna go back and go with him now. Yeah, I was like, yeah. nah, he's gone, bro. It's like that was an hour ago. <laughs> <Nah>. But <laughs> You think you always work out? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I have to, man. If I don't, I'm going to get fat as shit. I'm going to be yeah. looking like Roger. <laughs> 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 Just joking. <laughs> Roger is solid. Roger man, lives, guys. Man. No, I have Taking to work out. Taking some heat in here today. Taking you some are, heat. Bro, you are, bro. You come to my Zumba class after this. I'm running. I'm, I got the like, yeah, Zumba fast, bro. You look like you're about to have Joe Biden in that class. <laughs> <laughs> going to hop up and hit 20 jumping jacks. <laughs> yeah, uh, we do a lot of rubber band stuff, you know? <laughs> Pilates. Yeah. <laughs> Kegels. <laughs> Kegels. So I seen you went down to Texas too and did a hunt, right? Was yeah. that's with you? Yeah. It I flew him out. Yeah. Oh, uh, again, my cameraman, like we talked, had yeah. my cameraman coming, but he had another gig to go. I remember Dad used to do film and stuff here. Yeah. And he always said, yo, next time you come to Texas, like I'm not far. I'm in Atlanta. I come out and kick it with y'all. He's a yeah. vet. So he's yeah. like, yeah. go do the hunt. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I need a cameraman. You good? He's like, I'm there. All right. So I flew him out, paid him some cash. And while he was there, it was uh, four veterans and me that were going to hunt, and he was just going to film. But one of the vet- veterans got sick, and that morning he woke up, and the guy was like, I'm going to give that hunt to Dez. He's a vet, so it can be his first time hunting and film. And he had a so blind. So was he fucking like this? Well, no. <laughs> he would film me. He would film me shooting, and we just shared the blind together. I would okay. shoot one, yeah. and I'd take the camera and film him oh, shoot. Cool. So yeah, it was that's fun. awesome, man. Yeah. yeah, we had a blast. It was, Dez is good people, man. Oh, yeah. I miss him. I hadn't seen Hell him yeah. forever. Where, where'd you get down there? What are you hunting for? Uh, mule deer? What are you no, we for went for whitetail white there. Tail? Went down to South Texas in, uh, in the Golden Triangle. Or was it, uh, not mule turning. deer? Uh, no, there is mule deer, but, mule, but this is whitetail. Oh, whitetail. But, uh, is it different than here? Well, whitetail here. No mule deer here. No, I know that I'm saying the white tail is the white tail different than here. Not really. Smaller, bigger. Uh. Theirs is kind of big because they have feeders all over the property. Mm. But that's mostly in Texas. They're kind of small. Like you go to public land, they kind of smaller bucks because okay. there's no really ag. It's just desert. All right, right, you go right. out there in the parks. Like nothing here, but shit to eat. Yeah, they got some people. Some ag up. here, but you go to Illinois and Iowa and they're way bigger. Ag, ag, agriculture, uh, agriculture, okay. like okay. corn, peas, okay. yeah, yeah. wheat, stuff like that. And my garbage can you probably got some good shit. <laughs> That's for <laughs> raccoons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the deer. Dude, I swear, I, the other morning I had to get up mad early for something and. I'm driving out my block and there's fucking three deer. You gotta get up to go film your movie, man. That's yeah, what you're gonna Oh, yeah. Super it's a fucking star, movie but, uh, star over yeah. here now. That's good. But, uh, I, gotta man, I don't, I don't get up early from anything. Roger, that's bad that you know what I get up early for because I don't get up early for much. <laughs> that's why I know. But there was three fucking, well, plus you were looking at my window. But there's three dudes. <laughs> After you three, left, three, there deer, was. three dudes. Three deer. Three deer fucking walking down the street. Well, see, in Jersey, it's like yeah. they're taking all the woods away here. So yeah, they, they have to be. They have to go. habitat. Like, I've. Like behind my house, it was thousands of acres, but now like a big right. section. We went home for Christmas and came back, and it was gone. Yep. Like within two weeks, they wiped it all off. And then I went to another place of hunting. On my way there, they took this other big woods out. So wait, wait, in, in, in ja- it's all in yeah. Jersey, in oh, Jackson, Jackson. Within yeah, yeah. within yeah. five to ten miles from my house, it's just like w- seven different pieces, like huge parcels yeah, of land getting wiped wow. clean. Usually, they can regulate yeah. population, like deer herds and stuff like that, by allowing you to harvest more deer. You're still yeah. only allowed one buck here, right? Yeah, you're allowed one buck each season, but it's three seasons. Right. Then, Does that make sense? Uh, like, don't you want? I don't know. Why but it's mostly does. You only, it's more does than anything. It really is. There are more does. Yeah, think about, think about all the deer you see. The majority of them are does. I know. Is that true though? If you don't have antlers, you're, you're definitely a. Well, it depends you're, you're on the female. No. They fall off. Yeah. Right. They fall off. Right. That's what I'm saying. What, what, when do they have antlers? Right. When the okay. When? Put it this way. Usually from like June or July, August to now. Okay. Now they starting to fall off. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. So if I see a fucking deer until June or July, and they ain't got they ain't got antlers. I don't I don't know what it it's is. Asexual it. at that point. From June to June, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It's non-binary. <laughs> yeah, I guess you right? can say that. Yes. All right. So you don't know, but you usually don't see them in the summertime much. You might see them out in the field, but right now when they roam in the roads, but you can't stuff, hunt them then. So no. you wouldn't mistake. They right. roam in the roads and stuff now because there's a lot of hunters in the woods. Mm-hmm. Like today, I was saying, me and my cameraman was up there. Early in the season, September, those deer would have came out. My cameraman could have been dancing the tree. They would have paid no attention to it. Well, in rut, too, right? Yeah, like well, they, November, they yeah. don't really care. They just chase they the tail. They care less. It's like a man. They just yeah. want to get some tail. They yeah. got their nose, literally nose of the ground. Right. And they'll walk right underneath you and just start, you'll grunt, and they'll stop looking for mm-hmm. that female and mm-hmm. get shot. 
right I've now. Ro- I've seen Roger like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Seaside. Chasing Seaside. that tail. You in the club? Joe the fuck. Seaside. Fist pumping. When it was the Million Man yeah. March. <laughs> 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 well, well, like right now, they've been shot at for five months, you know. It's, so every time they see somebody smell anything different, they get skittish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now it's like they trying to get out of the woods and places where they know they can't get hunted. In people's yards, on the road, like you said. You seen them walking down the road. Well, they know ain't nobody. They call them my yard. I'm going to get them with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> you got a bow, shoot them. Just yeah. make sure your neighbor's okay with it. Yeah. I come out the tree, <laughs> jump on his back. You think um, hunting <laughs> defines you more as a as a, as a a person or fighting? 100%. Hunting. Uh, hunting. I tell people yeah. all the time, you can only fight for so long, I can right. hunt the rest of my life. That's true. I, I mean? don't agree with that. I don't agree with that, my friend. What, you think you can fight for the rest of your life? No. Everyone, oh. everyone, well, come on, though. You're going to be a fighter forever. Well, I'm always like, yeah, yeah. That's but your, my, hey, okay, but look, my fighting hey, mentality fighting is more like a hunter. My fighting mentality is more like I'm a hunter. I'm up going after my prey. Same thing. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm down I'll with it, it but I'm just saying, same. fighting, you know, fighting is the best thing a man can have in his soul. That sounds like, that sound like a quote you heard from Hanzo someone. Gracie. There you go. Henzo Gracie. Wonder why? Like Listen, some of us fight for a living. We fight to get out of a position. Some of us fight. To not be fat. To stay up at night and not fall asleep <laughs> on a couch and not eat all the fucking ice cream in the house, yeah, okay? Yeah, I knew that was Everyone's coming. got to fight, fight in, there, in them. You know, seriously, though, people fight to get up in the morning. You got to right. have some fight in you. Sure, of course. Life in itself, man, is, is fight. Yeah, fuck you yeah. Know, to, to some degree. I mean, yeah, no, it, is. it really especially is. Especially right is. now. And it right is. now in time. Especially right. To every this, degree. This pandemic time with the president yeah, and the things man. going on. We uh, fighting everything. You're God. fighting to save your kids. You fighting man. to keep your rights. Fighting to keep your guns, yeah, like yeah, everything. Yeah. Is, it's you regret right both. You regret both. You better both. fight. I didn't I'm kidding. What? I'm joking. <laughs> <I didn't vote. laughs> remember, 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 we had you in last yeah. time. We asked I you. Like, said, I don't voting. like either one. I'm not voting for anybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> what? Go ahead. <laughs> the last four years were better than the past fucking <laughs> <Yes>. years. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Jeez, uh, there's nothing on shelves anymore. Don't even get me started. No, I don't even, know if that's true, though. My I sister see, I me, see that no, everywhere. No, 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 listen, listen. Jenny around, being pissed on a shop, we can't get nothing. Around right. here, really? I really haven't seen it that bad. Uh-huh. I mean, it was at one point you couldn't get toilet paper and paper towels. That is true, but well, that not so much now, but my sister lives in Michigan. And I don't know why it's different there. She sent me a picture today. Actually, I think she posted it on her Instagram of the, the you know, or I don't know what, what aisle it was in the shopping center. Bare. The whole, you know, she was standing on one end, and it was like a shot of the whole island, uh, aisle, excuse me. It was bare, the whole thing. Really? Yeah, so I don't know what's Damn. different out there, but. Yeah. Well, here the thing y'all worry about, let it say it's going to snow four inches, and everything in the store is gone. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. are stupid. People yeah, it's like y'all it's can't snow drive goes away. in the snow. No, but not even that. We, we you need you can't wait six hours. I think I don't you know don't I mean? you think that has something to do that we're kind of the old people capital of the world and old people freak out and they no nah, y'all you know, just can't drive in New Jersey. Yeah, well period. that's true. But we have so many <laughs> retirement villages around here. No, I feel like no, no 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 no. I feel like these. Why, are, yeah. What is it? Go ahead. He's saying we can't drive. Y'all can't you probably drive. drive fucking slow as hell. That's no, why I'm, you're you're mad people honking at negative. you. Negative. I'm trying to get somewhere and y'all can't drive. So I I remember <laughs> I remember when I lived they, in Maine. We see you know why he has Illinois plates on his car. Fucking Jersey guys see that and they're probably like, fuck <laughs> this guy, cut him <laughs> off, left and right. Don't go back home. When That's I, what they're saying. When I was growing up, we used to see like you know because of vacation land, everybody goes to Maine to vacation. We'd see New York and New Jersey plates, and we'd all be like, "Oh, these fucking people can't drive." What do you whatever. call them? What do you call? You we call them Bennies. Nah, you know, if don't. you're from up north and you come down to the Jersey Shore, you call them Bennies. Flatlanders, I think. Flatlanders. Yeah, some, I, I always heard that term growing up. I don't know. You Flat, flatlanders. flatlanders. <laughs> so a mouthful. So, so embarrassing. Anyway, you know, we always we we always. Uh, <laughs> We always made fun of them that they couldn't drive or whatever. And then you move here and you have to learn how to drive like a person from New Jersey. Yes. you'll get fucking massacred. You're gonna you go don't. home and you're gonna get frustrated by people. No, yeah. no. Yeah. The problem is you go to Chicago. It's like Jersey and Chicago. They drive similar, except in Chicago. Like, okay, here's this for instance. I was going to get on the uh, on the turnpike the other day, and this lady she comes from like two lanes over, and it's like a truck flying to get on the highway. Then she gets starts going, and she just stops in the middle of the exit. And mm. like I'm stuck in there with my truck with a truck flying. I blow the horn. She put her middle finger. Like, what are you? Yeah, people are crazy. Like, as a truck comes, I just drive around, and she's like, putting her fist out. Like, you about to get me hit because yeah. you just turned, just stopped in the middle of the road because you mm. figured you was going the wrong way. Chicago, they do the same shit. They gonna cut you off, but they just gonna keep flying like right past, you, like nothing happened. They're not yeah. gonna stop. They're gonna shoot at you in Chicago. That, too, <laughs> that you blow the horn, you might get popped. You know. <laughs> Yeah, Jersey's it's just different down here. I mean, everybody that I know that comes 
from Maine to visit me in Jersey, especially older people like my aunt or my dad or they drive down here, they're like, I don't know how to fucking do it. They're like, you're going to get run over. If you're not doing 90 on the turnpike or on the parkway, cars are flying past you like you're yeah. sitting still. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And then the no left uh, turn is I got pulled over the other dumb. day by a female state trooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's dumb. The no left turn. I make them anyway. I do no. sometimes. <laughs> Depends on where we are. Yeah. Got pulled over on the parkway. Who? Oh, I did. Yeah. Coming coming back from a girl's house. I don't know, it's like not even a week ago. I was, com- I was coming back for court, actually, Zoom court. And uh, I wasn't late. I had plenty of time, but I wanted to shower and stuff before. So I was going a little fast. I was going 89 and a 65. And I got pulled over. On the parkway. On the parkway. Usually if you say under 80, you're good. I know. So anyway, I got pulled over. It was a it was a female state trooper came up you know I I always roll all the windows down I got ten windows yeah, so I always roll all it. the windows down I get way over you know the whole nine yards and she came out and said uh, you know license registration I got you doing eighty nine you know I handed her a couple of PBA cards handed her a two hundred club card and just said yeah sorry about that she said well, why are you going so fast I told her and she's like good luck today and just handing my shit back so does she you know. know does she know who you are no I don't think so yeah. not that famous bro no. no. Did you spray cologne before she came up? Of course. Of course. Not spray some banaka. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got pulled over by a lady cop once with Jenny in the car. And she went to Jenny's window and was like, ma'am, are you okay? I heard that story. <laughs> yeah, that was That's Jenny's crazy. first time ever seeing race. Like, she's like, I heard it all the time. I remember time, you but telling me that story. That's I remember crazy. when it happened, she looked at me and was like, why did she come In Jersey? Off? Yeah. That's Getting off up, at uh, exit 16A what? to get on a turn or the mm-hmm. point, whatever exit. Mm-hmm. It was coming from New York, training. And I was driving the Audi and like, I knew. I'm like, I look, I put the blinker on to go right, and I look, and she's in the truck lane. And I look, and she's, like, staring at me. And I told you, like, make sure you got your seat, but um, we're going to pull it over. Like, what do you mean? There's no cops anywhere. As soon as I get off the interstate, I see her get off, fly off, hit the lights. Sure enough, she come knock on Jenny's window. Ma'am, are you okay? Did you go oh, to yeah. jail after Jenny said no? <laughs> she's like, yeah, why? And she turned to look at me like, why did she ask me if I was okay and didn't come to your window? I said, really? That is weird. Why are you thinking? She's like, oh, my God. I can't believe it just happened. And she's like, I'm so pissed. Like, why? Like, aren't do you, you mad? Do you address it? Do you say why? Do you ask or no? You no, don't even wish I'm, that. Yeah. I'm no, from now the that Jenny know, on... Now that Jenny knows, yeah. though, she's probably like, why? Well, yeah, what do you mean? Jenny what do you might mean? say yeah. something, yeah. but I grew up as the only black dude in an all-white neighborhood. So right. I got pulled over every Friday night for no dude, reason. But then they, like, know, like, all right, like, what the fuck? Like, but they were pulling they, me over and making but they me didn't know. Else. they didn't know it was you every time? Yeah, they wouldn't know it's me. So they were just fucking with you. Yeah, they make us all get out and they search the car, hoping they would find something. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I got, I've been in many cars that got searched, but you know we, remember, we, 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 we we they they with your they, white boyfriend you mean? Is that yeah, what you're saying? yeah yeah oh, yeah, gotcha. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, I remember I, I, I had probable cause. Yes, hundred percent. We had no smell, yeah, no yeah. nothing. <laughs> we just taking somebody home and we yeah. passed the cop and he gets. I had a I had a state trooper tell me he was gonna shoot me one time. The hell you yeah. did. Uh, well, growing up in Maine, I'm not going to mention any names because my I grew up in a you real. Did, you real know, he told this story before. He said he's not going to mention any names, and he fucking mentioned no, the names. I didn't. That was my neighbor. That was my neighbor. That's a different story. No, he he's not involved in that's this story. That's a different story. story. And there's, I, actually, there's there's more to that, but we'll save that for another day. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, my dad owned a gas station up in Maine. You know, I grew up. I always grew up. You know, pumping gas at his gas station or whatever. So I got my first vehicle, big jacked up, lifted truck, loud exhaust on it or whatever. I was sitting. It was late. I, I was driving home, and this kid I knew was sitting up. This is small town living shit. Corey might understand that. You grew up in a little town too, right? Very small. Nobody has anything to do. So as I was driving over this little bridge in the middle of town, there was a kid sitting on the bridge smoking a cigarette, and it was this kid that I knew, right? So I stopped. I was like, what are you doing, man? He's like, ah, I'm just chilling. I said, jump in. I'll give you a ride home. So I pulled into my ga- dad's uh, you know, gas station, which was right by my house and by his house, and my other friend drove by in his big monster lifted truck, and uh, he saw me sitting in there. I had like the parking lights on. He revved the motor up. He pulls in. He's hammered. He's smashed. Driving. Driving. He's mm-hmm. smashed. I mean, you know, they're all drinking beers. There's That's like three. Towns, bro. There's like three. Fucking there's like there's, there's like three girls in the truck. You know what I mean? And, they're all uh, sisters. No. <laughs> <laughs> so he pulls up next to me and he's hammered. He starts revving up his truck. Right? Like, wow. You know what I mean? So I start mine up. I do the same thing. So now we're just you know kids. I was probably I don't know maybe sixteen, seventeen, something like that. And uh, he's doing the same thing. Well, a state trooper lived nearby, not far away at all. He was almost across the street from where my dad was. Um, I, I, we heard a car start, and this car comes flying down the driveway or whatever, and he pulls in. And we know him. We know who he is. <clears throat> and as soon as he pulls in, he looks at the other guy in the other truck and says, you, get the fuck out of here now. So um, the other guy takes off, doesn't, doesn't, the no fucking drunk lies. guy, the, the drunk, drunk guy, guy, the drunk said, guy, get the fuck he out said, of here. Get the fuck out of here. He wanted, he, he was targeting me, you know what I mean? So, um, 
I, uh, I, oh, actually, when I saw him come down the driveway, I started my truck up. I heard him yell at Mickey because he pulled in. He stopped at Mickey first because they were, like, out of the truck and stuff. He yelled at them to get the fuck out of there. I was kind of, like, sitting by the – there's two driveways, you know, to come into this place. I was kind of sitting by the second one. He pulled up, blocked my car, and said, back that thing in right there. So I backed it in. He looked at the kid who was with me and said, yo, get the fuck out. Walk home now. Get out of here. I guess he just wanted me by myself. I don't know. So he says, I'm going to go around this truck, and if I find anything wrong with it, it's getting towed. You're not going to see it again, right? So he's going all around the truck. I remember he was measuring it because at certain heights you can have the bumper and all that yeah. shit. You know what I mean? He's going over it for like 10 minutes, and he said, uh, you're fucking lucky. You're lucky I didn't find anything wrong with the truck. And then he said, which one of you guys has the scanner? I didn't even know what he was talking about. I was like, what do you mean scanner? You know how you can listen yeah, to yeah, radio yeah, calls? Yeah, yeah. He said, you heard me sign off, and you started revving your trucks up after I signed off. And I said, no, I don't. Those, you can look. There's no scanner in there. I didn't. I, I really, truly had no idea. He just signed off. You know, I guess, I guess he it, literally. It was just a coincidence. <coughs> coincidence. Yeah. I guess he just called out, went into his house, probably laid down next to his wife, and then he heard these trucks revving up, thought, thought we were doing so it to piss him off, right? So, uh, and I'm being apologetic. I'm like, no, man, I really didn't. You know, sorry, whatever. Thank God I wasn't drinking or anything. And um, he said, he was pissed, bro, the whole time. He's like fucking veins popping out of his neck. And, you know, he's in like a T-shirt, but his state trooper pants or whatever, because he must have like started taking his shit off. So he says, uh, if, if you ever, I remember his exact words. He said, if you ever fuck with me in my fucking kingdom again, call it like his house is his kingdom, I'll put a 35 Remington right through this fucking windshield. And he bangs on my windshield, like where I'm sitting, you know what I mean? And I remember the gun because I was like, oh, my dad's got a 35 Remington. You know, it's, not, it's, it's pretty common gun, but, uh, yeah. So I just, I was, you know, I was a young kid. I was scared. I was like, okay, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I went home and I told my dad. My dad was pissed. Yeah, so. That's funny. So you do like, did you hear Dan Gable's story on the Joe Rogan? Did you do like Dan Gable and go beat the kid up in school the next day because his dad came and arrested Dan's dad? Oh, you know really? Wait, Dan Gable, happened? you ain't heard that? No. That's crazy. I guess his dad and his mom was alcoholics. Dad's so, dad, yeah, yeah. Dad, so dad, he's dad. like beat on each other, and his mom would call the cops, and the cops came in and grabbed his dad one time and took him out. And Dan went to school with the kids, the cops', cops kid. son. So next day, so I took Wired with me to school and beat his son and wrapped his hands behind his back and made him walk home that way to his house. <laughs> oh shit! And took him home, and then the parents came to Dan's house and told his dad. And his dad ended up beating him up. Like, you know what they did to me when the police office? Like, nothing, because it happens all the time. I went down there and shot pool until I sobered up. Oh, uh, yeah, I did back. hear that. Yes, yes, <laughs> I did hear that. Because, like, in my mind, I thought he took my dad in my house, and I'm the man of the house. I got to do the same thing. I was like, dang, this dude is fucking crazy. He is crazy, bro. I love it. <laughs> like, I yeah, fucking love crazy. it. I did hear that. You're right. <laughs> when he was on Rogan, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did hear that. That was the only time you heard one, and Joe didn't say anything. He asked, like, oh, so Dan, tell us about something. And Dan just told went, his whole went, story from yeah, start to yeah. finish. I'm listening to it on my way back from PA, like, yo, like, I don't know if I want to listen to this anymore, but it's like a bad car accident. I couldn't turn it off. It was his crazy. His sister man. getting killed. I know, oh, man. That. He has a wild, wild. I gotta he listen. Was, I haven't heard that one. Like, he yeah, heard yeah, the guy say something about his like, sister. Like, murdered, was like murdered and raped, raped, raped yeah, yeah, by a dude that was trying and to they, holler they never at found, school, they, but They never found him, right? No, they, they found him, but he didn't get charged guilty, and he apologized on his deathbed. Right. Like, oh. He was found guilty of something else, not later on, I believe. Something yeah, like something that. Like, I don't he remember. He admitted that. to what happened. But Dan, he, he would wrestle everybody, right? He would approach it as if that was the guy that raped, mm -hmm. raped and killed his sister. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. The thing was, Dan was like, the guy came to his brother, or came to Dan and said something about his sister. Like, oh, you lucky you got a pretty sister. You better keep an eye on her or something. And one day they were all gone. And he kept saying, I was going to tell my parents, but I just, just thought none of it. I didn't tell my parents. And then we left town and told my sister to meet us at the cabin. And she never showed up. I remember telling my dad, like, dad, I think I know what might be happening. Uh -huh. And his dad was, by that point, he was panicking. And uh -huh. when everything found out, then he told him, like, well, his guy said this. Uh -huh. And, like, it was too late. Then they already found it. Was, oh, God. Yeah. God. Yeah. Oh. That's going to be tough to do. Yeah. Couldn't I, even imagine that. Like, some guy, like, pretty much telling you I'm about to do some shit and, like, mm. you don't think nothing of it. But then it comes out to be, like, he yeah, was I know, telling how, you. You know, God forbid. But, man, who knows, right? You never know. You ever watch, um... Sean Walsh, I think his name. He's, no. He used to host all those cop shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Old America's guy, most like, wanted. Yeah, like the yeah. kind of yeah, yeah. salt and pepper hair. Yeah, he had. slick back. Uh, his, yeah. his son was murdered. Um, and uh, is that know, why he got into? Uh, yeah, that's how how he got exactly. into. Exactly. He always talk about. I that. believe his son was. I, I could have this wrong, but I think he was beheaded too, which is you know, God, like super morbid. Yeah. Then he used to say it like at the be a beginning of the episodes though of cops he would say like my son or tragic something to my family and that's right. why I'm here to make sure. Right. 
Yeah, it was America's Most Wanted, right? Yeah. 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 Help us find this guy. Viewers at home. They did help. Get they him. did. They got a lot of people that way. They really did. You ain't gonna give me no more tequila. See, I'm not a, oh, I'm not a, Come on, man. I just said no more. <laughs> Pure pressure. Pure pressure. I didn't pre pressure. I didn't say okay. He just threw it in there. <laughs> I pressured you. Jenny going to be watching this. She told me, don't go over there and start drinking a lot and drive home. He did. He did she won't see it for like a week. You got time. You got time. She'll beat me up in a week. I'll put some in your coffee, Roger. But Thanks, buddy. I'm not, I'm just taking a break tonight. Uh, taking, a break. taking a break. Taking a break. All right, syrup. <laughs> no Bailey's. <laughs> some uh, Frangelica. Right. How's the fam? Family is great. How the kiddo is good? Getting big. Yeah. You taking the the well, your oldest? You taking him hunting at all now? Not or? yet. I was gonna take him out this year before it got cold. <clears throat> we went home. It was warm. When we came back, it was already cold. So okay. Told him next year I'm gonna take him out. He knows yeah. what's going on. Every time yeah. I get out, put my camo on. Daddy, go get deer. That's Daddy, awesome, go man. get deer. <laughs> Come home. We got like a hanger. He'll be pulling a hanger back like a bow. Yeah. yeah. See me do it all the time. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I shoot him. He come out and pet him on the back of the truck or whatever. How how many days a week would you say you eat game? <laughs> Depends. I don't know. I uh-huh. get home and dinner's done. So I mean, at least twice a week she make venison something. So. Awesome, awesome man. You you obviously have tried venison, Frankie. Fan of it or? Yeah, I fucking yeah. had it just the other day. Uh, my uh, I think his brother in law got me some. Nice. He's a hunter. He is. Yeah. Wow. Really? He's a step brother. Really step brother. On her, her mom, her mom. Oh, I haven't it, met her mom yet, so I don't know. Yeah, you yeah, put it on yeah. the Traeger. I didn't, Renee. Honestly, just fucking put it right, like flash, it. flash, yeah. like. Tss, tss, and bang, eat that shit raw, probably. <laughs> it looked good. It was bang. You, the picture you sent me looked yeah. good. <laughs> Rex wouldn't like it. Rex wouldn't no. like it. Hell no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no. To me, it's more dead. The more you cook it, the more dead it is. Yeah. I had to trick him with the venison because he's like, oh, I want some venison. Mm. And I was like, I'm But venison's not. red anyway. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm not well cooking none of my venison well. No. Like, it wasn't Kills the flavor. extremely it pink, the- but it was a little pink in it. He didn't mm. know. Like, man, this is so fire. And yeah, I, told him, yeah. I just told him what this, that, like, you know that wasn't well, right? Uh-huh. But that wasn't well? I was like, no, I'm not cooking venison well, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, well, that was good. So I guess I, I graduated past well. I was like, I'll give you But Renee, you know, Renee told me she, like, she eats steak now. But back to the kid, she's like, oh, I don't like steak because her mom used to cook that shit well done. She didn't uh, like it. And then until I gave her that raw meat. I don't think any <laughs> any steak ever, <laughs> the tube steak, any steak should be done more than medium rare. I mean, I think that's yeah, the max you should go. You know what I mean? Usually rare, but I always say medium rare just because sometimes that thing comes out still mooing, which, you know, I don't really mind that I don't much, like it cold. I want it hot. That's what right. I want. Well, I can't. Um, <sighs> until I went on the show, I used to eat mine well. Yeah, and then you learned. Really? Someone learned yeah, it. Someone yeah, learned I it. I never... Who grew, learned? I never you? Learned Who learned it on the uh, show? I can't remember if it was Eddie or Diego. Yeah, but I had never grew. I never knew how to cook on the grill. Right. Every night we would grill, and they show me how to cook a steak. And yeah. then uh, Diego shows how you make the different rice, like the jasmine rice, how you season it up so it tastes good, plain. And like I came back cooking steaks, <laughs> just grill, put on there, three minute, three minute, extra minute, That's get it. that pink in the middle, That's cut it. it. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Got the juices running. Yeah, man. So much better than fucking dry oh, yeah. ass. Oh, yeah. Well done. P- oh, yeah. Hockey puck steak. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> you um, you don't rifle hunt at all anymore? No, I do. When I went to Texas, I was all rifle hunt. Okay. I'd rather do it with a bow if I right. can. Well, Texas, I was going to take my bow. I was like, oh, South Texas, all the shots are going to be at least 100 yards. So I didn't bring my bow. You can't. That's too, it's almost impossible. I mean, you can, but it's, it's not ethical. It's hard, yeah. No, it's ethical. Not ethical. But uh, with an right. elk with a big body or something, it'd Maybe be a little easier. Shot, yeah. With a white tail, they move. They do everything off mm-hmm. the sound. Mm-hmm. You're not going to hit them. But, like, most of the deer we shot and came out were within. We had deer walking underneath our blind. Like, we killed two deer. They were dead right here in front. So and you could have brought down. Your bow. Yeah, we looked down like deer walking underneath our blind. Like, what the? These deer just dumb as hell. And Kyle, everything just coming into the gunshots. Like, they want to die. Nice. Like, we killed 19 deer between 500. It's just, wow. Just letting them go. Everybody, wow. they're like, it's the season ends next week. Fill your tags if you can. Any Actually, nice trophies or no? Um, I think the biggest one was like a 140 inch. Okay. It was good for Texas. A 140 inch? That's the rack. Spread. Yeah. Spread, so it was, yeah. like, it was like a 11 point or whatever. What, what's, what's, what, what's a big rack? What is big? Well, if you get it really big, they, they rate them on like a Boone and Crockett scale, yeah, right? One, is, over 150, it's Boone and Crockett, right. and then uh, 200 clubs where all hunters want. Right. And that's feet. what, from like a, a white tail? Yeah. 200? Oh, wow. Yeah. You get them around here? No. Hell no. no. Okay, no. You might get Where are the biggest white tail? 
around here. No, this is bigger, bigger rack deer here than I ever thought. I was telling you about that. Yeah. That that hunter that I met, he's strictly bow hunter in Lakewood, and he was showing me pictures. I was like, "There's no way those deer were shot around here." He's like, "Bro, I swear, I swear." How? I think he was shooting them in How. Yeah, that's they were monster one. rack deer. The <laughs> biggest deer I've seen was in How in this area. I was uh, behind Frank Perez's house, and this was last. It was November eighth. I remember being out. It was coldish. Now I know I heard the ice breaking. and looking at this big old eleven pointer with this big drop. Like the rack was like way out to here past his head. I saw pictures and videos of people because I video all my hunts. Like I've never seen a deer that big in that area before. Right. It was, but in the rut, they come from all over the place they chasing do. that tail. They yeah. smell it, and they come searching to see where that prime meat is. So, <laughs> but where's the biggest white tail in America? Iowa, Illinois is the top. Yeah. You know, those are the ones yeah. that say Iowa, Illinois. So that's where you grew up, Kansas. Hunting. Yeah, my biggest. Well, before I went to Canada, my biggest deer was my first deer, a three hundred pound ten point, like that's a big huge deer. rack, old buck. Took him to the uh, 300 prop. pounds? Anything was, over 200 pounds bro, is considered a big deer. You talking? It, I was sweating my ass off dragging Humping this thing at. in the middle of the winter. Wow. In a bean fist. Like, I'm grabbing him by the rack and just walking. With the whole oh. thing, you didn't cut him up? I did. This is my first deer. I didn't know nothing about it. You're supposed to cut him up, right? You're supposed to oh, well, you cut the quarter him? Oh, yeah. you were dragging him for, for yeah, not dressed? Yeah, I shot him uh, and just grabbed his heart. That's heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah throwing a pound. Yeah, and I get back. You, got a, you have a picture of that deer? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I get back and my thing. dad was like, what are you doing? Like, dragging him to the truck. Like, you're supposed to gut him first, <laughs> yeah. son. I was like, I didn't know. <laughs> Those How those. much uh, you take the you got him and lose fifty pounds probably right? Oh, probably. Well, that one he probably lost about sixty seventy. Yeah. But I still I just finished the meat from that and that was two thousand fifteen. No, get out of here. Yeah, I just found like the last steak that was labeled in the bottom of my freezer from him. He was huge. Really? Wow. Like it had so much meat. Wow. You I eat you eat that. heart liver whole nine you save or no? I just ate the heart for the first time in Texas actually because yeah. the mom. I prefer the heart over the liver. The but. ranch was now Jenny said she read some she wanted to do the liver. Well, so she said next one know. you could kill save well, the heart well, and you liver. You see Liver King? Yeah, I was just gonna say Liver no? King's killing it now. There's this dude on Instagram who's a fucking monster. He eats like raw liver and raw heart. Well, it's called raw testicles. Ancestral and shit. eating, right? Like it's well, all based on what our ancestors yeah. would have done. But he, he's his name is liver. My ancestors, because it's the most beneficial organ in in an animal. Liver, liver. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what they eat with the, the when a wolf, the alpha wolf First gets, thing they gets eat, the right. liver. Right. Well, there's a hunter, um, Josh Beaumont. I'm actually sponsored by his company. He eats the heart like after he kills something. He's right like, like a bite. Bite the heart with a liver. Straight. Oh, red! That's a red dawn shit. Yeah, yeah, Remember yeah, that yeah. movie, Red Dawn? I'll do that, bro. Let's that. go. I'll fucking let's go. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's nice deer, bro. Big yeah. body deer, big body. Damn, Corey's kind of big body. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he's. That picking, was my first time losing weight, though. That was when I was like, yeah, I'm joking. Two hundred and five, two hundred and four, trying to get to one ninety, but it didn't work too well. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we gotta get both of y'all shooting the do you, ball. Do you like? Are you like a guy that wants to like hunt a fucking and rhino saw, or anything like that? No, tell me no. I know you're not. Don't let, let him answer, bro. No. Let him answer. I only hunt anything I can eat. Dead ass. Yeah, like I, that's why I would. Do I got it. invited that's to Texas. That was going like on a donkey hunt. Donkey? Yeah, like somebody's why? farm got like overrun with donkey wild, wild donkeys. donkeys? Yeah. They was going out there just killing them. Like, can you eat donkey? Like, no, like, I'm not going. Like, yeah. what, 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 do they pose a hazard to crops or something? Dude, I see donkeys, why they, I see don't why donkeys they, fuck I see up why they animals? Kill pigs. No, yeah, don't they, do. they like, they, like they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll fuck up wolves and shit, they do, or yeah, something? They protect the herd. They protect, I don't know what, they how could they do that? I don't they they, me you out. ever see a donkey? Like, there, there's animals that are scared of donkeys. Yes. They're why, very though? How are they bite? They pick they you up kick? and fling you around, but it's mostly smaller animals like coyotes and things. They're not, they're not. They will fuck a wolf up, you think? Uh, I, don't I, I, I don't know. I know that a lot of people buy them and put them on their farms because they like peruse the perimeter and keep you know everything all, chicken all. safe, all that shit. Hmm. But would you would you go hog hunting? Because I mean yeah, they're like a they're like yeah, a fe- you can eat it. Shit, yeah. Fuck yeah. My sister shot that? my sister my sister's a bigger time hunter than I am, but she lived in Texas for a while and she shot a couple hogs down there. Don't so. they like? Um, <clears throat> they're very invasive down there. Very right? very. They, yeah, they like shoot like from ants. fucking helicopters. Oh yeah, they're like. Everywhere you yeah. go out, like you be out all day long and you won't see them. Like I was in a spot deer hunting, didn't see a hog all day. We came back to that same area the next day and the ground was just turned yeah. over, like somebody tilled it. Looks like a road. Now the hogs came out and they just ate all the crop. They ate yeah. through the ground, like killed the wow. roots and everything. Right. Wow. And like it's bad. So I've killed those with the rifle, dog and knifed them. You know that's fun. Yeah, it's, yeah. What kind of dog? Uh, dog well, Argentino. 
They got like pit bulls and stuff that attack them, but they got like labs, beagle, different hound dogs, good for smelling, mm. that obey them up. So you have like eight different dogs running around. That's and everybody cool. got GPS trackers. And when they all run in the same direction, like, all right, we got one. They got something bound. And then we all take off running or get on the side now, by you, side. You're training your dog too, right? Yeah, well, mine track deer, right, like right, wounded deer. I ain't right. going to have her do that. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Them yeah, dogs no, I didn't die mean that. all we the don't time. Have, we don't have hogs around here, but yeah. I'm just saying. I, not I yet. Knew you were, not yet, right? They say they're, ever, they're fucking mo- they're, they're making Coming their north, way. really? Making well, neighbor, way my neighbor got pet pigs, so if they get out and go wild, yeah. you know what <laughs> I mean? You know, you know every pig... <laughs> Once it's feral, it turns, it, even those pink ones, like pink ones, hairless pigs, mm-hmm. if it goes out in the wild for, you know, I don't know, however, matter, however long it takes, it turns feral and turns like fucking gets the fucking horns and their skin turns brown but and they grow hair. Same thing, go if you catch a wild one when it's a baby, you bring it back and it turns into like a, a regular pig. Like a pink one, belly pig? I don't know if it turns pink or, or not, but they lose their teeth, all the tusks and stuff. If you treat them like a really? regular, how do you treat how you the treat, place, how do you treat I, a regular pig? Like they feed hey, it, they feed it hey, from like a bottle and stuff like that when it's a baby instead of feeding it like digging through the ground from, from a tit. I'm, it's like a bottle, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying they probably eat from if they're it's from the natural. I'm they're telling you, from a tit, right? Okay. <laughs> where I went to Oklahoma, where I went hog and dog and knife hunting. Well, the kids had caught baby piglets and they kept them. Like no, if we keep them within a couple months, they're gonna lose their wild and they come back to pet. They're like actual right, pets, right. so. Yeah. I don't know, but my neighbor now have pet pigs, so maybe I should cut theirs loose and see if it turns feral. It you will, know what I mean? it but isn't that most animals? If you raise them from, from like you know, they, but they at some point they go back to that wild instinct and they end up killing you at some point. But like, there was at a guy. At some point, well, was, well, it depends what animal, I guess. Right? Yeah, 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 you know, like lions, tigers. Yeah, but yeah, there was a guy yeah, yeah. in Africa that had a baby hippo. And like raised him his whole life, and he'd go in the river with him and shit. That that thing hippo? ate him. That thing ate him eventually. Oh hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking Survive. yeah, but like I don't know though. If you fe- it was fed. If it, it was, was fed. 100% fed, it probably would, but if it was fucking hungry, a lot of it, a lot of it was documented with this this interaction with this hippo. It was a, there's a, I don't know if it's a documentary, but there's a lot of it on you know Nature Channel or whatever. Or this this guy had this thing. It was abandoned, I guess, as a baby, and he had it. You could he could hold it in his hands. It was that small. You know how big a hippo gets. And this guy is still going in the river with it. He's still feeding it. They're like best buds. The thing, you know, he'll go for a walk and it follows him, and then it fucking ate him. You know what wow. I mean? I was just yeah. like the people Happy at the zoo. The hippo. <laughs> <laughs> people at the zoo when they got their tigers and yeah. oh, they train to put their hand their head Stupid. in there. And I know where Dumb one day the tiger's right. like, oh. yeah. I don't mess with animals too much. Like, no, my dog's dumb. about it. That's as far as I'll go. I mean, you don't know what's going on in their mind. You can't. Right. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't you know. can train right. them as well as you want. But like, not even like, you know, some people are like, they're fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, really I, you know, horses, like, I'm, I'm, but horses bug me out. You know how big they are? Really? I mean, a little bit. Yeah. I'm very people suspect that, around them. I don't trust them. That's my favorite animal, but my even my own horse almost bit my fucking thumb off. You have a kid. horse? I used to. Growing mm-hmm. up, we had a horse wow. farm. Really? Yeah, so I used to take the carrots from my lunch, and I was come home and feed my horse, give the carrots to my horse. Mm-hmm. And one day, I was giving her the carrot, and I goes, one more, she went chicken. I was like, "Taking when I did that, she bit down on my thumb. No shit. But she let go before she took it, but... I'm like, yo, like, why did she bite me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know if that was a mistake, or she was actually trying to just bite. I don't know. But. You ever see a horse... What was that? Like pick up like a sheep? You ever said that that video mm-hmm. where it picks the sheep up and like oh, flings it around, yeah, flings yeah, yeah. it and fucking stomping on it. Yeah, <laughs> yo. I ain't seen that, but I didn't see a horse kick a human. A I've lot, been kicked yeah. by a horse a few yeah. times. Oh yeah, oh dude, that'll fucking. Oh, tear when I was you a up. kid, it not. It was like a little. We went to this campground. We go to this campground and ride the horses. And number one thing is they bag them out of the trailer, and never run behind. Them. Well, I was trying to run across the trailer real quick, and one was coming. And as I was running, just boom. Gotcha. Kicked me all the way across the road, like an actual, like a two-lane road, kicking me from one side all the way to the other. <laughs> There's tons I was like, of I was videos eight, on YouTube. <laughs> of, <laughs> tons of videos of that on YouTube of, uh, you know, horses kicking. Like oh, farriers. Yeah. Farriers, they farriers kick, get kicked all the time. When they kick, they kick like the... Are you, that? Are you so kids? Heard that. <laughs> yeah. Babies crying. I don't know babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, v crying. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I didn't been kicked by a horse, trampled by bulls. Trampled by bulls? Yeah, we had bulls and cows. We had a Wait, whole farm. What? Wait, this you grew up with that? Yeah. Really? Did you used to milk cows? We didn't milk them. <laughs> he was milking oh, a bull. Man. That's why I got trampled. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got trampled. He was milking no. a bull. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really blame the bull anyway, for trampling you after I that, got bro. trampled because we used to have, they all heard us where they were feeding that. And me and my brother and my cousin were throwing rocks at them. And they turned, they started running at us. Well, we ran. Our brother and my cousin with this. They six years, six years, seven years older than me. They know better. 
I'm like 10, 11. I keep running straight. You think you're not running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go out running. They just trampled me over, bro. Oh, man. It was fun. Good times growing up. When you ain't got shit to do, like, them yeah, dudes getting drunk do, and driving man. That's truck. That's small yeah. town. Like, we had, ever go cow tipping? I went. I used to go I mean, cow tipping. Did you really? Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. is that true? Like, is no, it, we couldn't knock, knock <laughs> these no, things right? over. No. It's like Tommy Boy. Did you it fall in like the mud? It was like 2 in the morning, and we're, you know, first of all, they kind of try to get away from you, but if you and you can't see shit because it's pitch dark. No, it's not like we went out with the intention to do this. We were out probably drinking, and somebody was like, "Hey, let's go to old man whatever Henry's farm." Is that and true? Is that even I, true? We thing? couldn't knock him over. No. We couldn't push him over. No, it's right. a myth. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a total myth. See, we grew up with cows and horses, so we knew this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's not possible. We didn't go trying to tip cows. There was cows <laughs> down the street from my house, though, growing up. <laughs> yeah, what, Jerry's chicken. house. <laughs> I was gonna say Jerry's got a <laughs> virtual got farm everything. in his house anyway. Jerry got goat chickens. Lobster. Everything's got like Lobster. one. Everything's got. <laughs> everything's got like so, a digit missing, like a leg. Or yeah, something. It does, like the popcorn Champ. zoo, bro. Yeah, Champ, yeah, yeah. Champ it's like, the goat with one leg, or with the wheel, three leg, that three leg with the wheel on his leg. Like, yo, what is this? Champ. That's uh, Champ. It's the popcorn. You ever been? You know, in the popcorn zoo? No. It's like the zoo. For, the zoo for all the misfits, mm. right? It's in Lacey. Well, yeah, it's a rehabilitation place. I don't. Okay. That, I, well, the I fucking they're three legs. It's like the story of crispy rehab. bacon. The, they had an elephant. When I first moved here, they had an, an elephant? elephant there. An elephant. Really? You remember the elephant? No, I had the huge... I didn't, I didn't go to fucking popcorn zoo since I was a kid. Well, when I moved here in 98, so probably like 2000 is probably the first time I went there, but they had a... They had so a you were like 22. Like a... I was 36. <laughs> had a legendary um, elephant there, but he had a huge... It looked like he did a ton of coke. He had a big <laughs> hole in his trunk. It was crazy. Like a gaping hole in the middle of his trunk. Is that what Coke does to you? Yeah, well, devi- he had a deviated septum, Corey. Mm. Hey, Bird. I've, I've never touched but, Coke, so I have no clue <laughs> what happened. He uh, oh, he died. Cola. He died though. <laughs> he died from. He's gone from now. What from, uh, from? From yeah, too much Coke. Too much, too much Coke. Too yeah, big a yeah, hole in yeah. his nose. <laughs> I'm sure he was getting lots of oxygen, though, right? A deviated septum. How do you say? <laughs> he did, bro. He had a hole in his trunk like this big. I'm not kidding. You could look right inside of it. But like where on the trunk? Maybe like halfway down, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like a carb. I, I never you found. Know, you guys don't know what I'm talking about? Like no. a carb? Oh, yeah. On a on a, like on a bomb? Yeah, yeah, on a bomb. <laughs> carb? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys don't know. I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Corey don't know. Corey's God. too wholesome. Corey, I'm a little disappointed, Corey. Because I went with Snoop Dogg. I mean, yeah, I got to revoke his black card. <laughs> <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. 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 Why? Because he, he don't smoke? No, because yeah. Snoop Dogg asked him to smoke. He said, nah. What? No. You don't say fucking no to Snoop Dogg. I, I, might, I don't smoke either, but I might have smoked a Snoop Dogg. Yeah. It was the Damn, first one at the UFC Summit. It was right at the stage. And oh, he rolled a God. brand new blunt. New blunt, finished it, lit it. And I was sitting right at the stage. Like, here you he go, nephew. Like, nah, I don't smoke. Grabbed and gave it to somebody else. Oh, then the shit. other time was when Carl fought on a contender. Yeah. It's like, yo, could he call Carl the golden elbow? Knock yeah, the guy yeah, out with yeah, 10 yeah, seconds yeah, elbow. Yeah. Yo. Yo, bring Golden Elbow and his team to the, to the trailer. And we went out there like, yo, nephew. Bro. Uh-huh. Like, y'all want to smoke some of this? Like, nah, I'm cool. Did he Carl, get a drink? Uh, huh? He called you. Well, no, Carl because like, thought he was going to get tested by Osada. What do you mean he fought already? He didn't know. He had, this is his first fight Come in the UFC. Come on, like this Fucking take the chance with Snoop. Two and people. Tomorrow. Yeah, like Snoop, you got to smoke with him. Yeah. Willie Nelson, right? You got Those yeah. two guys, you got to smoke and with. And blowjobs with Bill Clinton. I mean, like, what are you going to do? You got to. <laughs> <laughs> like Carl said he wanted to. He's like, I want you, but I don't know how Osada works. Like, I don't know if I'm going to get tested. Yeah. Now it was like literally right after the fight, like we were still sweating yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frankie, guess, Frankie smokes well, on his, his run-in. Well, he shut up. <laughs> 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 he was, I guess Snoop was like doing smoke breaks in between or something. Went to the trailer to roll. Oh, when he was, co- he was doing, yeah, the when he was doing the commentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he <laughs> called Carl out there and he's like, "Yo, you want to hit this?" And Carl's yeah. like, "He's like, I want you, but I don't know." Well, how is that gonna work? Shit, I'm like Snoop asked me. I fuck you. I'm I'm clear. I feel now. like they give you a pass for Snoop. Got to. It might. But that how how long ago was that? Because the levels are so high now, you can you could probably do it now, right? No, now it's illegal. Yeah, that first Usada time don't was, care. was fifteen, and the other time was two thousand sixteen. So Usada don't care no more. Yeah, now it's legal. Now they just can't show up high. Commission, com- they yeah, just can't show up high. You know? fight. Nate Commi- Diaz, Commi- you know? Oh, yeah. well, I don't know. He kind of he looked high all the time. He does look high all the time. I mean, he that, that's is. that's that's, that's you know like like, like in uh in, in the Avengers when the Hulk's like. I'm angry all the time. There's a secret. I'm angry all the time. Yeah. My secret is I'm high all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Different world, man. You, you've been in the UFC, what, 16 years? Something like that? It'll be 15 years. For I me. mean, in that capacity, just talking about. A couple weeks. Shit, 15 years, a couple weeks. No shit. 
just marijuana. I mean, it's changed dramatically since you started. Well, since I guess you saw it came in when? What year? 14 or 16? 16. Yeah. So I got in at 14. Yeah, yeah. And it was heavily yeah. regulated then, right? I mean, you couldn't have anything Reebok in your system, came right? came mm-hmm. in 15 mm-hmm. and... Oh, Sada came right after. Yeah. There was no, no drug testing at all prior to you Sada? No, always, always. We always got drug tested. Um, people even failed. Um, but it, it's... In-house? No, the commissions would test you. Okay. So you would get tested the night of your fight, either before or after. That you would routinely? Like, that was... Pretty much. Always, yeah. I mean, if you're the main event, pretty much. But no coming tested. to your house, none of no, that. None stuff. of that. That yeah. was the total so It's like Bellator now. Like, we still get tested, but they're they going to show up at your that's house. That's commission. Oh, yeah, oh, commission. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you know when you're going to get tested. But they, that's, they surprise you. They ain't, like, what do you off mean the scale. Like, yeah, they but got you us know, at the media. Okay. They know I sometime know, in I fight know, week you're going to get yeah, tested. Yeah, exactly. Like, we did, like, an interview meeting. They grabbed So you got to know. From what I hear is if you know when you're going to get tested. Right. You could pass any fucking test. This is what I hear. I guess I ain't got to worry about it. I know you don't got to worry about it. Well, you got to worry about dealing with someone that does it. I've had two people I fought in UFC that That's what I said. That's what I said. I've been been beating up up meatheads since fucking Seaside Boardwalk. I'm I'm okay with it. You think (laughs) you guys I've beaten in UFC both sides? It was essentially implemented. For steroids, PEDs, stuff like that, right? Not, not so much for no, recreational no, drugs. No, 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 just for All steroids. All PEDs, yeah. Right, but that I means guys have jo- Jones got busted, obviously. No, nah, but Jones got they. Jones but, got but he didn't get busted. For coke. Yeah, but no, but coke, they, but right. no, and they were Actually, never they didn't so, bust they, It was out of competition. You oh, do, so he, yeah, he didn't. He, they were never supposed to even fucking say that. Really? Yeah. Really? Suppose they shouldn't even release that. Oh wow. But then why did they overturn the fight with DC? That was uh, different. That was the dick. Oh, that, was that, that, was the, that was the stuff. dick. Picograms. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't right, even know what a yeah. picogram is, but, but it was basically him, nothing, right? They could be in his, in his system for the rest of his right. life, and right. they test him two days later, and it wasn't in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then somebody comes out. Like, I've heard some stuff. I ain't going to air it you, out Like, when you get caught. Mm-hmm. I heard some stuff from people from the UFC, like, after I left and all that stuff. Really? Like, they were just covering up. Like. You yeah, just take I'm like a, like when you <laughs> when you get when you get caught and you test positive for something you know you got you got obviously coke and steroids, coke one's a tough thing to explain your out you know, explain your way out of. But when you get caught, you can say, "Look, I was taking." Do you just take every fucking thing in your cabinet in your bathroom and say, "Look, I'm taking that," and just hope something sticks? No, but they te- then they go and they test that they stuff. Test That's what I'm saying. Test. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you're, you're, you're trying yeah. to get out no, of it. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, listen. If you're if you're not cheating, yeah, you're gonna fucking bring all right, your shit. Like, what, what the saying. fuck? Yeah, you're yeah, trying, no, yeah. you're not cheating. Right. But if you're cheating, right. what, what are you gonna say? How the fuck are you gonna say? Empty your medicine cabinet out and say, test all this shit. And yeah, see but, if it, but nothing's gonna come up. Well, for likely. him it did. Dick Hard Pills got him out of it, right? He served a much uh, less. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it was. Lot. I don't know. I'll give the benefit of doubt. Maybe he can't get his heart, this dick hard, bro. I don't know. It sounds like steroids a... make your penis weak. That's yeah. true. Deck a dick. Deck <laughs> a Is that what it's called? Deck a dick. Called deck a dick. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So we don't take DECA, huh? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, obviously, it's 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 all about your testosterone levels, but maybe if you just run DECA by itself, okay, well, it's okay, kind of how was your experience with DECA? Dick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I never had like, it. Yeah, never this sounds sound like you used it before. <laughs> yeah, this this is the question <laughs> I got. Like, <clears throat> TRT is testosterone replacement therapy, right? Mm-hmm. That's steroids, right. it's, mm-hmm. essentially, right? Mm-hmm. So then what's DECA, Winstrol, Sustanine, all these things? Types of testosterone? Sustanone is, yeah. I and mean, DEC mo- is the type mo- of testosterone. You know, testosterone. propanate, sipanate. Yeah, yeah. All those, those are, things all are all types, types of testosterone. Test. Yeah. And DECA too? I don't think DECA is, though. Winstrol? Uh, Winstrol's water based, so I don't think that that is. Yeah, but, is, like, but well, like, well, how does that make you. You know what I mean? I'm just wondering how it all works. I got like virgin brain. All this mm. stuff y'all just. I no, no, I, 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 like, I, I, well, there's a lot of different. different you grew up in Jersey. You, grew up in Jersey yeah. you learned about the media. Well, well, obviously, all a lot the of different variations of testosterone. There's all. There's a bunch of them. You know, like I just said, sip, probe. But so what? What is? Do you, I mean, I, you might not know these. I'm not a chemist. These questions. So. <laughs> so you don't. What is different? You don't know what's different. Is one give you fucking harder, harder. One gets yeah. harder. One makes me buffer. You know, or, or puffier. Right. Some yes, some are faster acting. You know what I mean? Some 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 you have to take. You know, you might have to take. What's the most expensive? Growth is the most expensive, I would say. Yeah. Which and what? And that, growth that, hormone. But, the, but growth don't make you big, right? Growth hormone, if you can get it prescribed to you, obviously is amazing. But if you're buying it out on the street, that's the most expensive. Mm. The black market. Gro- gro- growth you run in tandem with other gear. You know what I mean? You don't just run it by itself. Usually, you run it with other gear, and yeah, it it it, it changes your whole. It changes your even your bone structure. You know. Is that good? Uh, no. If you want to be a bodybuilder, yeah. If, if you don't want to be a Look, bodybuilder, no. It's good while you're competing. Once you're done competing and your body starts coming down, 
It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> your kidneys no, fail. But what if, your liver like, and all that like, stuff. Okay, because this is what I hear about growth. Is like we produce growth hormone. Correct. But as you get older, you produce less growth hormone. Is that correct? correct? Yeah. So then, why wouldn't you want to supplement with a little bit, not enough to be a fucking bodybuilder, but enough to just? I think they're starting to do that now. You know what I mean? They're right. start, doctors are starting to do that with yeah. you know, like TRT replacement and all that. Right. That's it's all, almost like that's that. All relatively it's almost new like TRT, stuff. But yeah. but growth. you can't. I've talked to somebody who said you can do that stuff healthily. It's just a bunch of vitamins and stuff you gotta take. Like I said, to support support your kidney, liver. your liver, and your heart. Blood work because, is key. Because yeah, because if you're just yeah. taking it just to. Get bigger right. or keep your size up, your testosterone. Right. You're not taking the other stuff. Like you said, after you're done competing, like I heard from people that do bodybuilding. Right. Yeah. Once you're done, well, not only that, when you're when you're crippled. when you're getting it prescribed to you, you know you're getting human grade stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you know, so well, when you get it from the guy in the garage, there's a, a lot of a stuff suspect. is, yeah. is yeah. made. A lot of stuff comes fanny pack. He's got he's overseas. got in his fanny pack. A lot of stuff comes from overseas. You don't know what you're getting. It was a documentary I seen on Netflix. The guy. It was about the dude who did the steroids for Icarus? the baseball foot. No, not oh, no, Icarus. Uh, the one did it for like A Rod and all. Those oh yeah, guys. So, um, it was a cartoon. Like these yeah, little kids, the these kids little kids. Stuff. That was a good yeah. documentary. They're talking about how like once they ran out with the stuff in the store, guys was buying it from this guy in the garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yo, you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, but that's how it is. Like mm-hmm. he's like, wait till the guy. It depends if I'm getting it from the market. It'd be this much if I get yeah. it from the guy's name. He's like, who is? I saw. <laughs> yeah, like, don't I worry s- about. It. Do you want the stuff? What or was not? that? H- hardball. Hard, 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 hardball. Hardball. I think hardball. You see that documentary? It's good. It's about, so. about all. It's the whole baseball. Bro, it make you like how dumb game. was a Rod though? Yeah, he didn't give a fuck, bro. When you when you're making that much money, yeah, and you're like the man, you think you're untouchable. But everybody else got touched. He just so happened to make it. Like he was just such a big name. I oh, think he got J Lo for a fucking good year. Say, I he think got J Lo for a good year. They don't too. want to tarnish his. Im- he's worth too much money. They, it's done now. What do you yeah. mean? His yeah. image is tarnished. Because even the guy rebounded. I he thought rebounded. you were saying that during that show when he was playing baseball, he was running gear, but he never got popped. I thought that no, was he didn't get popped. Oh, he did get popped. He got popped, but they didn't convict. Like they started to suspend him. He went on. No, he got he got suspended for games, but not the full suspension. They shortened it up. If you remember on the thing, they talk about how he shortened yeah. it up. Yeah. And uh, the one guy was telling him, like, the MLB had called him. Like, we want to work with you to get all the paper. But they were right. trying to get the stuff to cover up for A-Rod. Mm. But he was like, all this is over. Some dude, they owed him, like, 1300 bucks. Or he was paying him 1300 bucks, and he would shut up. But he, like, aired all the dirty laundry and everything. They oh, was, MLB called him, like, oh, we want to work with you. And they're, we trying to give you this much money to get this paperwork. And they're trying to get it all to cover up the sure. stuff for A Rod because he had just got all this big deal. It was crazy. It all kind of started with uh, the home run derby, right? Mark McGuire and Barry yep. Bonds, right? Well, I mean, that that's where Mark that McGuire race. and Sammy Sosa. That Everybody that was into that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody Sammy Sosa. Was in, I'm sorry, Sammy Mark Sosa. Well, I just seen today they. Uh, they didn't induct Roger Clemens or Barry Bonds of Hall of Fame today. Right. Well, they brought, but b- they, both of those guys testified in front of Congress, right? I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, Barry t- Bonds. Pop- Barry Bonds, yeah. Clemens did, Except, I know. I was like, Barry Bonds didn't uh, cheat. I, that boy was all. He nasty. cheated. Yeah, I know. Barry they, Bonds. Barry Bonds. He didn't cheat. Oh, not Barry. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. Bo Jackson. Yeah. Excuse oh, me. Oh yeah, Bro Jackson. Yeah, wrong black guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all look <laughs> like. <laughs> Bar- Bar- no, yeah, Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds yeah. Bond, yeah, yeah, yeah. But 100%. bro, bro, like this guy uh, Stephen A. Smith is actually saying like Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens were fucking both but were first ballot Hall of Famers before they ever touched the fucking steroid. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like every at that time, it's like it's like the whole uh, Lance Armstrong. Like you have to go to like fucking twentieth place to mm-hmm. find someone that that wasn't on steroids. Like, dude, he's the best guy because they're all on fucking steroids. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing with these baseball players. Like, it's crazy. Like, he's the best among everybody was on steroids at the time. Mm-hmm. So it's that it was an even playing field. But see, then you say that, that's like now. Everybody, like, like Nate Diaz, all oh, you focus on the steroids. steroids yeah, yeah. I remember when somebody I know that got busted, and I heard somebody, he told that I was using steroids. Like, it was like, Corey's never did anything. Like, how do you keep going so freakishly long and so strong? Like, Wait, he just, Diaz said that? No, somebody oh, I know oh, that got okay. popped. Like, when he said, yeah. uh, he said something like, Corey takes steroids too. And it's like, Corey's never, <laughs> Corey don't even smoke weed. Like, how's he, how's he so strong and his cardio is so good? Like, he just worked. It was yeah. like, you can't. Even like they said about um, Bo Jackson, like today, if Bo was as good as he is, they would say he was on steroids. Sure. You can't do anything great and people not say you're not right. on steroids. Yeah. Right. It's just, well, it's a cop out. It's a cop out for people that can't do it themselves. That's too lazy to do it or can't exactly. do it. Exactly. So oh, it's, it's so like, in, oh, you're talented you, or this. No, in, motherfucker. In your opinion, both you guys, you're both fighters, obviously, is John Jones that good or is he only that good because he, he's run steroids before? I don't know. I don't know. I want to say that. But I'll tell you what, he hasn't been. 
d- dominant in years, though. I was gonna really say, hasn't been. Even when Who's, he when he first got in, he was like a smaller to a fight. He wasn't like against Andre Gustaf. Whatever Guzman, Guzman or whatever. Guzman, yeah. His performance was good, but it wasn't like dominant right. like it was when they claimed he was on the steroids. Then right. Usada came and they was testing him all the time. And since he hasn't had a finish, it's just yeah, been right. like he's winning, but, but not it's not like the John crazy. Jones it used to be. Right. No. His fight against you know? who was it? OSP, OSP was great. Yeah. 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 Uh uh Reyes, I mean, yeah. this was up in the air. Uh Tiago Tiago, out. Tiago up in the air. Right. Uh was it all right? That's all he only had three, yeah, two, three much, fights yeah, in. So, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see him heavyweight. See what he does. You think he he fights Nagano? What do you think happens? Well, who knows if Nagano's oh, sticking around? Yeah, man. exactly. You see, they hit Dana him with a didn't, lawsuit. They did. They hit, 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 you ain't see they, they UFC. Him. Yeah, they suing him for talking with uh, Jake Paul's manager and stuff. Uh, about really? The boxing. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But it's like, Wait, that's he's it. Not what about Jorge well, Masvidal and all that? You're, you can't even have a conversation? No. 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 Really? No. Like I was explaining to Jenny, that's just really? like being a college athlete. Once you sign an NLI, right, right. you, can't, you talk. can't talk to no coaches. Yeah. If another coach contacts you and you respond, you can get suspended and yeah. lose your eligibility. Mm-hmm. Like really? you can't say anything. Yeah. Well, okay, so that's obviously directly, but most of these guys don't deal. Everybody's got a manager now. You know but I mean? guess that's what Nugano was saying on a Ariel show. He, he asked, like, who is that? I don't even know who that guy is. Uh, like, was that somebody with the Jake Paul team? Like, yeah, well, I guess that was the owner of their promotion or whatever. I so having you. that conversation. But you got to think, Jorge Masvidal been talking. So right. like, not with Jake Paul back and forth, you sure he ain't talked to the guy that I can't remember the name. Nikisa. Mm. But you think he hasn't talked to him? So you gonna sue Jorge too? Or are you just suing him because he won and now you're trying to get more money? Are you trying to get a claim yeah, over his head? Yeah, they like coming whole... after Nagano because it's more of a personal yeah, vendetta because yeah. they're beefing over. Although Nagano says it's not just about money, he says it's about his treatment. You know what I mean? Right. It's all about money, bro. I it's mean, gotta be all about the, money, right? But at the same time, it's money and treatment because for me. When I was there, my thing was just the treatment. Right. I didn't care so much about the money. I just wanted to walk, get the belt. Walk, walk us through that. Like, what what do you mean by that, your treatment? How, how did they treat you poorly? I know, okay, since my Glover fight, when I fought Glover on two weeks notice, like, oh, if you win this, you're in title contention. You can okay. get a title fight next. I beat him. Like, oh, well, you got to fight one more guy. Then I beat a little TV. was ranked third as well. Right. Like, oh, they told me, like, you beat Aaliyah because him and Glover are going to fight for who fight for a title next. You get that, you get a title shot. And I beat him like, ah, you got to get another one. And I went to the office and met with Hunter and all those guys. Like, yo, y'all keep telling me I win this fight. I get a title. What, what's going on? They literally said, well, your social media doesn't move enough for us to give you a title fight. And I said to somebody, how do you promote 40,000 followers against 3 point some million? Right. Like, you can't. And it was like, well, the way it works is every Tuesday we get together and we got media people that go online and look and they see who social media is clicking and blah, blah, blah. And yours don't really move, so we can't give you a title fight. Right. Like, so if I beat everybody but John Jones and Gustafson, Gustafson just lost to Jones. I can't get a fight because of my social media. Yeah, it's crazy. Politics. And, you know, so, yeah, stuff like that. And yep. then <clears throat> they was like, oh, you got to make more attraction. Then I started talking and talking shit. Then Ali called me like, bro, you got to chill out. The UFC is they getting pissed at the stuff you're posting. <laughs> like, they tell me to get the fireworks going. I get people talking. Was that, was that about the time that you showed up at one of uh, Jones's sparring yeah. things? And you, I, yeah. saw, yeah, I saw you barking <laughs> at him. It was like yeah. all this. Like, y'all want me to be get more attention right. and I get more attention, but now I got to calm <laughs> down. It was just... It I was. feel like that's not naturally you, though. No, you're such a no, you're such a nice guy. Like I, we've said to Frankie all the time because we want to see him. You know, I, I remember back when Conor McGregor had his name in his mouth. I was like, "Talk shit, bro. Talk shit. Just fuck." And he's like, "Bro, well, I'm gonna look like an idiot. I never have done that my whole career. What? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna reinvent myself as a shit talker. Now it's just not me. You know what I mean? So don't talk not- shit in the basement, baby. <laughs> but and the thing is crazy. It's like right now. I tell I ask Jenny all the time. Like, am I shadow banned now? Because I went. Ah, uh, yeah. From that yes, time, you are. You are. <laughs> yes. yeah. From that time, I went from forty thousand to like one hundred and thirty something. Yeah. Now my followers are always dropping. Like, am yeah. I same? Bro. My post me, gets too. like two hundred yeah. likes. Jenny, like, yeah. what's going on? Like, yeah. am I shadow banned? You want to go back up? I don't take a look at the camera now and say you voted for Biden. You'll have four hundred thousand, four hundred thousand followers tomorrow. Yeah, but the hundred and thirty I got will be done. <laughs> but it's crazy. It's like because I'm not posting the crazy stuff. I'm not. Right. But that's what the UFC wanted. They it do. Was, and they, they do. told me like I understand. They even said it to my face, literally, verbatim. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. 
He said, there's no doubt in the world that you deserve to try to fight. We just can't sell that fight for yeah, you. Yeah. It's like, how can you tell somebody that he doesn't deserve the fight? Isn't, he isn't deserves it. No, uh, that, that's, that's what's frustrating about it's fighting. It's not about rankings. It, it, it's, it's not about because rankings. Because in basketball, in baseball, in football, it's who's the best quarterback, who's the best running back, who's the best center, who's the best forward. Who's the, it don't matter what the fuck you say. You, mm-hmm. Are you producing? If you're producing, you're right. the fucking highest paid. Right. When I... I was introduced to the game but it, by Matt. This is entertainment, though. It is. It is. You know. It, it is, is. But it saying, is. okay, but like I said, I, I'm, I'm with you. But I get. I was it, introduced from Matt Hughes. He used to come back and work mm-hmm. out with us all the time. And story, story he would always tell us like wrestling is just like fighting. You beat the guy in front of you, you take their position. Same thing in fighting. If I beat the number two guy, I'm number two. You know. So when I got into it, that was my mindset. It's just mm-hmm. like wrestling, like a wrestler. Off. If I beat somebody in front of me, right. I'll take their spot. He said he meant WWE wrestling. Well, at, like the time, <laughs> at the time when he was in it, it was about if you beat the people. Then Connor came. And I was going to say, it cha- the game yeah. changed somewhere because along the line. I remember when I was ranked ninth, was it Glover? Yeah, I beat Glover, who was third. They dropped me down to 10. Right. And he was still ranked above me for like four weeks. Like, how I just beat Glover on two weeks' notice, and he's ranked sixth, but I'm ranked tenth. Right. And then I beat a little the next one. I moved up to eight. And I beat him. They dropped me back down to nine. Then I beat Johnny Walker, who wasn't ranked, and they moved me to five. Like, this makes no sense. Like, Wait, yeah. let's talk about that, Johnny Walker. <laughs> I love that fight, by the way, because he, he was such a hype train, and you ended that. Didn't you get fined? What, yeah. did, you, what did you do? Talk $10, shit? You, ta- you talk shit or something, right? Oh, After well, you got in his face? Well, or? yeah, I got in his face. I was That's yelling. what the fine was, was for? He was, he, was he was on a cage. <laughs> he was on a cage. The like, email. Like, I thought he was fucking like, <laughs> like a Chippendale, bro. That's the, what email I was. Was, the email was pretty long of listing all the things I did wrong, but the one was yelling in his face after the fight was over. Right. And the other one was like, I was trying to like, I was pointing at him like this, like, yeah, you mother. <laughs> and the ref got in the way of my arm, and I pulled his head, like I snapped his head uh, down. So that was the one touching the ref. Two was successful celebrating. Three was flicking off the crowd, or four flicking off the crowd. Five jumped in the cage, gyrating. <laughs> Wait, you flipped off the crowd? Were you in his hometown or something? No, it was, in, was New in New York. York. But oh. everybody was booing me. Oh, in really? New York. Yeah, I flicked no McMainer off. I flicked Dan everybody. I went around no the crowd shit. and everybody off. And they hit me for that, then jumped on the cage. <laughs> I was celebrating. Then mocking him when they was introducing the winner, I was like yeah. doing his little dance and doing the worm. It was a long. Is he? Is he? Is he back in the win? He uh, lost his last. He time. did. He yeah. did. Okay. So you kind of en- you ended that hype train then. Yeah. yeah. Something mm-hmm. like that. Yep. You sort of did the same for BJ. And, and the thing is crazy, nah. and people still give him more respect on social media than they give That's me. It's crazy. crazy. Why do you think that is? I don't get it. I was thinking, I was today, Ali posted, Corey is the best 205 on the planet. And I believe in myself, you know? Yeah. And, like, I don't have to keep vocalizing. I said it before, like, you don't hear Michael Jordan going to argue why he's the best. Good yeah. point. You Good know point. what I mean? Yeah. So I don't say anything, Good but it's point. like, I was thinking, like, I am 7 and 1 since 2017, 18. Right. And the only thing everybody talk about is that missed time kick out there. And got knocked out by Young. But they don't mm-hmm. talk about the fact I beat the hell out of Glover on two week notice. They don't talk about the fact. My fifth pro fight ever, I beat the hell out of Yan. He was ranked exactly. 11. They don't talk about the little Chiefy domination and all that, but they you talk guys about. Went, you guys went back and forth a little bit. What, you made you just made a statement like, I'm the best 205. Yeah, I'm he, the best he, in the world. He, he came, came at, at you, me, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I finished my I last thing saying, like, you know, I don't even know I'm still doing this. This guy got to fight. Glover Chicksera in a week, right. who I recall, I'm the last person to beat. So if he loses that fight, the, the, the discussion over. is yeah, over. Yeah, like, yeah. I beat him handily, not even close to getting beat. Right. So if you lose to him, there's no point in saying you better than me. Then you go get choked out in the first round. Yeah. And I yeah. never heard nothing else again. So. Yeah, that was it, right? I don't even know if that choke was in, right? I don't know. Really? Tap too I early? I didn't see the fight. Uh, no? No. You texted me yeah, when I was right. buying the yeah, RV. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, I saw you're, that, the, man. you're the best fighter in the world. I'm like, what the, what, are you, what are you talking about? Like, what? And everybody started tweeting me like, oh, Corey Anderson's last person to be Glover. And he's like, oh, Jan choke or uh, Glover choked Jan out in the first yeah, round. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like at the RV place dying. Like, what the, what's so funny? <laughs> like, don't worry. You don't understand. But where's this RV? It's at the house right now. I wanted to travel with it a couple times, but you, you like. You got a fifth wheel one, right? No. We was going to get the fifth wheel, oh. but then you have to put a thing in out the back of the truck and all that. So oh, I just so got, got a trailer. Hitch one. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I can just bag up and do it I myself. You got a trailer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll pull behind. Yeah. It's not a call the fifth wheel? So call it fifth wheel is like a gooseneck you yeah, hook yeah, in the yeah. back of the truck. Right. You gotta put it's like a easier. skid, a skid, right? Or is it kind of called a skid? It's like a uh, it might goose. be. Yeah. I don't know. It's a hitch. Thought you would know. Thought you would know. Oh, it's a fifth wheel. You're a trucker, fifth bro. Fifth wheel. It's a fifth wheel. Yeah. The fifth gooseneck wheel. attachment. 
I can hit you, put it in the back. Right. You, to, you can leave it back there, but I use it back in my truck all, all the time. time. So yeah, I got to take it in and out. Right. And you need somebody to either help you latch it or. Right. And Jenny's not going to do that. So, so. Where, where do you plan on taking your RV? Wherever she. It was Jenny's idea. She wanted to get it. So, mm-hmm. tax right off. Nice. Whatever. Be all right, call my tax guy. Like, can we write this off? Like, yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, train Let's man. go man, get your a, RV. Put a, put a, put <laughs> a bunch of bag in there and you're good. Yeah. Or we can use it for traveling training. True, like, true, I can stay true, in it on true. the road. Yeah. yeah. So, whatever. I'm waiting for Frankie to get one so I can borrow it. Huh. I feel like you make more money. No, this guy. You kidding <laughs> me? Money bags over here? Yeah. He owns half Tom's River, this guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You was on the Jersey Shore. You got all them. <laughs> no, they didn't deals. pay me for that, bro. They didn't what? pay me for that. They did not. I didn't get. I wasn't a cast. Unless you're a cast member, you don't get paid. I was a fucking casual weekend boyfriend on that show. We did do the spinoff show. I got paid for that afterwards. <laughs> but what, what, what are you going to say, smart ass? What are you going to say? Go ahead. <laughs> say it to the mic. If it's not gay, it's something about my ex-wife. Go ahead. What is it? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I'd say what nothing. 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 He right. say he forever nothing holds right. his peace. Yeah, no, he does yeah, not. That's it. Forever hold my peace in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Raj, what else, buddy? Nothing, man. Where's so, your Velcro um, shoes? You're uh, obviously you're in the light heavyweight. You're uh, when when is that scheduled? Does that have a date? Doesn't. I mean, they gave me a date, but there's no location. So okay. until it's a location, I don't. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. I, guess I just stay in the gym, whatever. It don't really matter. You know, Always most ready. guys are like, oh, wait till we get a date. We go to the gym. <laughs> yep. I got back from Christmas. I've been there two a time, two times a day every day, just yep. like I'm in camp. And when camp come, I just turn it, ramp it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, push the pace, get those guys in, and start just making me go to the grind. Like mm-hmm. after sparring, I'm doing extra work. Jujitsu get me in bad positions. We're starting to get out all the stuff that we're. If we get in stuck in a fight position, we need to know how to get out. Sure. But right now, it's just stay active. My sparring isn't really sparring. It's more like a technical. Yep. Like, uh, don't hit nobody trying to hit hard, but working on stuff, see what we're doing wrong. Then, after we drill it, so I mean, I feel good right now. Like, if they call me and said the fight would be in two weeks, so I'll be all right. I've already did you five, ready? six rounds, I can right. do it, no problem. But when they give me a date and I know I got plenty of time to turn up for it, it's gonna be, I'm just it's excited, on. man. Yeah. Right. What, what are you thinking, Nemkov? Oh, he's definitely good, you know, he's young, he makes a lot of mistakes. You've seen his last mm-hmm. fight, and he was he could have killed, like, not. Like dominated on or uh, on Glacus, but he was getting the better of him, and just one mistake he hit that big overhand right that put him down. Then he could have finished him earlier, I believe. Like in Glacus was just tired by the second and third, and just he just his cardio one isn't all the way up to where he can keep pushing one hundred percent like mm-hmm. I can. And like I said, the little mistakes he make, like he he leave his chin up sometimes and stuff like that, like he got caught. But other than that, he's pretty solid. Like, he moves like us. The Mark Henry bouncing, always moving, never stays in front because he's a smaller 205er. Yeah. So you can't sit in front of these big guys and get caught. Seems athletic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very athletic. Jacked. He's, Rush he's looks, the part. Yeah. looks the part. Oh, 100%. Drago, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So He snaps some kicks, too. That's some good high kicks. Very kick heavy. Mm-hmm. That's another th- like good thing I got Carl. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, just got to tell him, make sure yeah. you control them. Shit. Yeah. This is practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that conversation with him like three times in the last two weeks. Like, Wait, wasn't that one of your early memories, you guys? Didn't you catch Frankie? With, was it a kick? No, he yeah. shot into my knee. <laughs> oh, I didn't that's do anything. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was just yeah, yeah, standing yeah. there. <laughs> that's a that story. I was just standing there and I almost got sent home. Like, yo. <laughs> I heard, I heard his knee. Fuck? He was saying his knee hurt, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the fuck are you throwing knee? Like, I was like, Mark. You got a cut out of it, right? And bust his whole chin yeah, wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it's Mark, bad. I didn't do anything. I promise. I was just standing there. Did they check the tapes on that one? Yeah, yeah that's They did check the tapes. They called me that night and apologized. Oh, my bad, bro. You didn't do it. On, you didn't do it on me. You didn't do it on me. I little, shot. I, I literally ran into your fucking name. Little humble pie. Little humble yeah, pie. Like, I was so scared. I'm in Jerry's basement. Like, yo, I'm in this man's father in law's house. Like, hey, piss. I'm about to get kicked out. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? And then all of a sudden, the phone rang. Like, I was like, oh, shit, Frank. Hey, do I answer? Like, is he telling me to not come back or what? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, what's up, Frankie? Yeah, your marriage going to call. I say, I apologize. You already did nothing wrong. I. I shot in your knee. It's all good. Like, <laughs> boy, were you dead. wearing fight camp for who? Who were you? We were both for BJ. the finale. Oh, finale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was we're like the start. first week yeah. here. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Even Mark said, like, bro, don't go. He's too big. He's like, oh, we just going to move around. Yeah. It fucking shoots right off the get-go. Yeah. Yeah. That's not moving around, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Coming for the kill. <laughs> we Fuck came man. a long way yeah, since yeah. then, man. 
2014 to 2022. Sure, eight years, mm. geez, eight years. I'm buying a blank now. So, um, I get I get excited sometimes. This guy is always like, I'm gonna get it. Me, I'm gonna go with Corey. I'm gonna go hunt. You, you, you're going to be around here for a bit then, right? There's a chance we might get to go hunting with you? I mean... I'm, listen, I'm, I'm I'm hooking up with him to go boat, boat. We're gonna that's go, what I'm talking about, go to the range? No, like to the range. Oh, oh to the range. Okay. Cause, cause yeah, yeah. Take him this, in dude, this dude doesn't want to practice at all. He just wants to I shoot don't want to shoot into wants, his garage. He wants to shoot I'm the sorry. Fuck, he wants to shoot the fucking deer in the ass and watch <laughs> it fucking run around. All right? Guy's I want to do it. I want to I I ethically kill this thing. This, this guy doesn't give a fuck. He's going to kill his kid shooting into the garage one day because this is what he thinks proper target practice well, I is. I mean, y'all do be doing some sketchy. Like, Renee was posting. Sketchy Even, as I shit. I messaged her when she was recording next to the target while you were shooting. Right. Like, Renee, that's not safe. She's like, all right, Tony, if he missed, he got to watch the kids by himself. Like, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you're wearing about? Like, if an arrow happens, if he happens to break or anything, like, yeah. it's like, y'all, it's crazy. But this is the Edgar home. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is the Edgar home. <laughs> is. We do things uniquely. A little different round But we're yeah. going to go to Lakewood. We're going to go to A&M. Yep. That's where you, and, that's yeah, where where you I brush. You. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'd had a bow before years ago. Obviously, I hadn't shot it in years, and I... You know, Corey took me over there. What's the name of it? A and M. Good, good little spot. A and M and Lakewood. That place has been there for years, right? Ever. Yeah. Mike oh, yeah. bought. Well, he bought his partner out. What he said, in like the eighties. The old guy at the yeah. desk. Yeah, he's a good dude. It was dude. a partner. A and M was something. I can't remember the guy's name. And Michael. You guys got a cool Anthony. relationship, oh, yeah. man. Anthony. You guys break oh. each other's balls. Well, yeah, as soon I mean, as we walked in, I was like, "Who's this old man fucking breaking your balls?" He Mike. was. Yeah, he's. Cool I remember when shit. I first walked in, I walked in with a Matthews bow. Like, How much you pay for this? I was like, uh, I really didn't. They gave it to me. Like, who, who are you? Like, Matthews don't give anybody anything. I told him I'm a fighter and this yeah, and that. Yeah. Like, oh, so they got you on, like, the VIP discount, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and after that, like, I'm sure he thought, like, there's some black guy trying to get a bow. <laughs> but I was coming in every day and shooting and asking questions and learning. And then one day he was in there by himself, like, fixing arrows. And he's like, bro, I got to do all these arrows. I have no help. And, like, you teach me how to do arrows, and I come in and help you every day. Yeah. After practice, Nick's was right down the road. Mm-hmm. I come in and help you. But as I'm helping you, you show me how to build a bow and all the things I need to know. Like, you serious? Like, yeah, I'm not going to charge. I just want to learn. And that, our relationship was cool. Like, we would stay after hours. And That's he, awesome, man. I'm fletching arrows. And he's like, come over. I want to show you something. This is this one time. And this is this. And not like I built your yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put a whole yeah. bow together, take it apart, do it all. Because You run, even for hunting, you run a really lightweight uh, arrow, right? You're... you're well, I'm thinking 489. Is that what it is? Rings. I saw. I saw. Um, On Joe Rogan, I didn't know any better. Oh, uh, I, I saw Rogan like, talking about it. Yeah, I said well, 300. Uh, I think. Well, yeah, that's, I was yeah. shooting an Axis 300. So yeah. I thought at the time I thought that was the weight, uh, but that's just the spine. Okay. But now, like, I'm, my total is 489, okay. 487, 489. Right. But yeah, me and Mike, like you said, me and Mike's relationship. But what does that cool. mean? What does that number mean? The grains are just the weight. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, uh, like Dudley say, who's a big hunter, he said he liked to shoot around 500 grains. We don't have to worry about a pass through with 500 grains. If it hit, it's going to pass through. So, I mean, it's going to hit one side and come out the other, which means it's going to, if you got an expandable tip, when it hit, it's going to open up and rip like a two inch hole Flame. through whatever. So, even if you hit him in the yeah. gut, a two inch hole through the gut, you're going to, he's going to bleed out eventually. So, if you get down to like, like I shot one arrow, my sponsor sent me the wrong arrow on accident. It was a 250 grain. Oh, no. Oh, it's... No, uh, 250 is actually better, but what was it? Was it 250 or 300? He sent me one. It was wrong. When I weighed it, it was only like 420. But I didn't weigh it until after I shot the deer. And it didn't pass through all the way. So I weighed the other one. It was like 420. I'm like, yo, what's going on? These didn't pass through. Because the arrow was too light. It killed it, but it didn't pass all the way through. Mm. I you like wanted it to pass through? Yeah. yeah. Why? Just for... Because it's going to make a clean hole. Right, and they'll bleed out. Exactly. I had right. one before I shot in the front. And we didn't find it. So the next day, because it didn't bleed... We found it. The arrow was like coming over that, like his hind hip, wow. but the fletch just plugged the hole. Right. So it didn't bleed at all. Tracking, People, too. Yeah, yeah, it bled on the inside. So we never found any blood. I just found a deer. Wow. But no blood coming out. And it was all pulled up inside of him because yeah. the, uh, the yeah, hole was yeah. plugged. So uh, I would faster. love to see this guy inside of a deer gutting one out. I would love that. Would that would? Why do you want? Why do you? I just watch? Can't, I can't. Vid- I cannot that, that picture you doing like that. You, that just sounds weird. You want to see him inside of a deer? The way you started. That, that sounds fucking weird. I want to see him inside. He said inside of a deer. That does. Basically, he's a little weird, guy. He can get right in there. That's, like uh, you shoot a two hundred pound deer, you're oh, gonna you're be talking about me. Oh, you want to see me inside? Yeah, got the deer out. Yeah, that's ah, what I mean. Yeah. What do you think I meant? Ace Ventura when he come out. No, of the, uh, no, 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 no. I want to see you 
harvest your own game and gut it and clean it and the whole thing by yourself. I could probably go outside you. Fucking. <laughs> 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 See, now y'all talking kind of weird. I'm He's a- so he does it every podcast. Man. It's the <laughs> weirdest thing ever. Conversation. Uh, I think I think he might be a little undercover lover over there. This guy. A little I feel like we should do a tramp and a champ episode in the tree blind somewhere. Let's do, Let's it. do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do that. Let's do. Y'all gotta get your Chance. shit together. I'm down. I'm fucking. I'm, listen, I'm hitting you up. This. I'm hitting you. You said up. that to Eddie. Look, you were saying that before Eddie. I remember I asked Eddie. And Eddie was like, I could never kill something. I get too woozy when I see blood. He's been out a few times. He gets since. too woozy when yeah. he's a straight so he told, murderer. Exactly. That like, guy. bro, you just was in the blood fest with Justin Gage. It's yeah. like a week after his fight. He was like, I can't, I can't, I can't even kill a fly with a straight stomach. Like, what? But now, he's been out a few times. Speaking of Eddie, you know what I see? He lives I in Pennsylvania, I bro. know, but you it pops up all the time <laughs> on my feeds, and I don't know why. I swear your phone hears you. But Kensington, like where he's from, he yeah. obviously doesn't live there anymore. Bro, it is the crackhead capital of the East Coast. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Bro. Oh, yeah. The zombie walk, how they're all doing the zombie walk. Kensington. Like, yeah, it's that's he he definitely grew up. He had he had a rough start, man. Mm. Killing it now. Yeah, yeah, he is, man. I talked to my man what last weekend. Uh, yeah. I actually spoke to him today, actually. Yeah, he's, he's a uh, man, bro. And he's, he's good people. He's really good people, man. But um, you know, he's he's beyond just the fight thing. He's into investments. He's oh. a smart kid. He's a smart guy, very, man. I, anytime very I got smart. an investment question on what to do with money, yeah. I call yeah. him yeah. instantly. Like, he just told me the other day, like, you just start listening to investment podcasts, and you'll figure it out. That's how I did it. Right. Like, ask questions. Just listen. If you got any questions, call me. You need to. If I have any questions about, like, you know, crying or cucking, <laughs> I call Roger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. And hey, we got a, somebody for everything, huh? Cucking. <laughs> you remembered it. That was good. That you was remembered good. it. That was good. <laughs> oh, man. How's that back or your hip? Whatever you had, you my, had. Back. Your my back, my hip, my hip, my hip is good, and my back. That's a song. My, my hip, <laughs> my hip, and my back. <laughs> These guys. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, uh, I'm feeling good, man. Feeling yeah. good. Yeah. Back to lifting weights. Be fucking kicking Rogers' ass no time. Yeah. <laughs> you you know want to do? Big... Hey, would you ever do the polar plunge? Polar bear plunge? You want to do it with us? No. What? You want to do it? I do ice baths. Yeah, can... it's the same shit. No, how long it's... y'all sit in there? And that's different. That's no, ocean it's... water. No, the ice bath is 100 times worse. 100 it's times ocean worse. Ocean water. Yeah, you sit in ice so, bath for how long? You scared of sharks? <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. You, go, <laughs> you jump in in two feet of water maybe and run no, right back out. I go you know, in. I've seen I people in there because Jimmy worked in. at JR's for a while. Yeah, that's right. These people are crazy. They go out there. and Yeah. I go all the way in. Dive in. Well, I seen. Was I was right next to you, bro. I jumped in too. Y'all did was... the little thing with the ice bath and the hot. Y'all started doing it. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, like crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you, you that co- shit's wild. You bro. commented. You were like, "What the hell is Frankie doing <laughs> in the background?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Face yeah. all serious. Like, yeah. He yeah. getting ready to spar. Like, what? Well, at least I, 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 I had rhythm though. I had rhythm. I looked for you guys all. Were well, there a beat? Was there music? No. Nah. So what you got rhythm to? There's always. I got the rhythm. Rhythm of the what's the, what's the, what's the rhythm, the rhythm, rhythm of, the of the night. No. The, night. Yeah. the glory Estefan. Is that glory Estefan? Not a rhythm that was night. rhythm of yeah. the rhythm night. Yeah, the rhythm is gonna yeah. move yeah. you. Yeah. Rhythm is gonna yeah. move yeah. you yeah. tonight. <laughs> I just realized why he thought he jumped in deeper water than me. He, we, were the sa- we were in the same. We were in the same. We were the same height. I got like two yeah. feet. Two feet on. <laughs> I jumped Yo, into two feet of water, that? and he was over his head. <laughs> I went all the way in. No, bro, we was in there an ankle. Ankle deep, bro. It's like I went, to, I went to the buoy and back. No, what was happened is I was I was actually to my waist, and then Roger got in it. I went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fat, fat joke. Hey, listen. Cannonball. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know what's the word. What the word? It's not buoyancy. What's the word for that? Ain't it Boating is buoyancy, yeah. No, 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 but like you, when the water, you getting oh, in the oh, water. Oh, and, and yeah, you offset the water. Yeah, yeah, what's that called? Yeah, you're right. I don't know where, where it is. I know what you mean. Yeah, well, that's right. what you did to me yeah. in the ocean. Displacement. Displacement. That's Boom, what? look at that. I'm look looking, at their brains. On. I'm uh, I'm looking oh, forward man. to that, though, man. It was such a good time last it year. Was. I can't hope wait. I could do it. We're signed up. You well, signed up, I signed up. I signed up. This guy's lazy. Sometimes he doesn't do it. Why wouldn't you be able to do it? Huh? Why wouldn't you do it? No, if my kid has wrestling. I don't know yet the schedule. Just run out there, jump in, jump out, go to the last year. Last yeah. year, I had my kids last year, so I, I, I was probably in Seaside two hours maybe, and I was. We back did it home. last year. Two hours. Not last no, year, two, years. Cold, two hours two to years. jump in the water. Wait, that's well, when we went. Because to, I, we, 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 no, it's I, been three years. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it has. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think Renee watched my kids while I went over there and did that, didn't she? Didn't Renee watch no, the kids? No, no, because we were there. I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's get back to two hours of jumping in the water. Why it take so long to get in the water? Well, you go there. You got to sign up. You go. You, they give you the hoodie and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then I, I, go, and then there's I like, go to JR's and get fucking Yeah, we get, we do. We, get, we definitely yeah, do some loose. shots. Yeah. <laughs> loose. And, shot, uh, shot, there's shot, a, shot. There's a, there's a start time. So you got to be on the beach. You got to be ready. And then they call. And the whole beach Yo, just runs I've in. never. I, and you know why I, I realize that? I've never seen seaside black people in the water. No. Nah. <laughs> there's, 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 there's some black people. Yeah, no, there's we had a guy people. on our team that was, yeah. yeah. Black guy. Token black guy. Um, Scary No, movie. but but there was, there's so, there's more people. Like, you've never seen more people on the beach and boardwalk than you do on Polar Plunge. Never. Like, damn, but that's just everybody's on, on the beach, the beach right, or boardwalk. Right, no right. one's else anywhere else, right, you know? Right, right. Now, when, when is, is this Polar Plunge? What time of the year? 25th, I think, February. Fe- oh, yeah. hell no. Nah. Nope, it's what? still cold. It, bro, well, that's like why they call it the polar bear plunge, <laughs> okay. bro. The water's different. If I got to stand outside the water in my swimsuit and it's cold, count me out. You know, I'm we see layers. You say an ice bear. So he he did it. You did it two years, right? I was, first year I ever did it was the yeah. year I did it with him, which I guess was two years ago now, but it was a really nice day. So you weren't freezing. It's probably this year we're going to be, it's going to be like 28 degrees probably. This I hope year we're it's be freezing. fucking. I do too. Like, if you're going to commit, yeah, commit. You know go. what I mean? Like, whatever. I'm going in. The water there was already literally people, cold. There was people that ran in. To their fucking ankles yeah. and went out. I'm like, dude, get the fuck. I wanted to fucking body slam them into the water. And they got a whole. It's not real. They got, not like real. A, they got a whole row of like people out there that are like in dry suits. Like, I'm like, nobody's gonna drown, bro. Nobody goes no, in past their how waist. How about the guy, the one, the one marine? He's in there and nothing. With a, with a smoking a cigar. Oh really? Remember I that? That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's a marine. They're marine. trained by like laying yeah. in the water yeah. on yeah. the edge yeah. of the beach in the middle of the night. You think you train like that? No, I just I won't even do the polar plunge. I'm gonna do that. No, I'm saying. But do you think you could get yourself to do that? I mean, if I signed up and had to, I ain't got no choice. You really don't have a choice when you're out there. It's like you're going to sit in the water. Mm-hmm. We're going to be here all day long until you do it. So Think you could be a Navy SEAL? I can do anything I want to do. If you want to, yeah. But I don't want to do it. I hear you. I, 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 I do those that. veteran things. That. I tell them all, like, I, I thank that. you guys for doing it because I cannot do your job. Yeah. I did one in the middle of the summer, and these guys had full, heavy uniforms on. I said, that alone, like I was on the mic, said, that alone, this guy standing here, it's like 100 degrees, and it's, I couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Like, in my mind, I don't want to do this, so I wouldn't. You know what I mean, I know I could, but it's like he's vol- he's not volunteer, but he volunteered the services. Kind of his way, right? Yeah. But now it's like he has to stand here. He does this all the time outside his armor, fully dressed in the heat. Like I couldn't do that alone. Like get on, take a bullet for my country. I'm just, I'll be honest, I can't see myself signing. So up what? To take a what bullet. drove you to fighting? Obviously, you started out as a wrestler, and I feel like that's natural progression for a lot of wrestlers when they kind of time out with the wrestling. They just move transition over into MMA. Is that kind of how you no, ended up there? No? Not at all. Like I was training for the Olympics. I qualified for the really? Olympics in college because I took second in nationals, so it was like top two. You automatically qualify for the trials or whatever. And I was training with Ben Askren to get ready for it, and then he took me to a gym one day, and it was Rufus Sport, and I tried it. I missed the junior trials, and I just been fighting ever since. Never put a singlet on again. And like they told me, like you're just you're good, bro. Just try it, try it. And after mm-hmm. I tried it, like I'm just gonna do a one or two fights as a hobby. You know, I still want to be a coach, coach, and just do a couple fights. Then I did the third fight, and like, oh, you can do the Ultimate Fighter now. Like, I don't want to do the Ultimate Fighter. And good thing my coaches made me. You know, I met Frankie, and mm-hmm. look at my life now. It's like ever since then, it's like any opportunity comes, just right. got to take a chance, That's try funny. it at least. Yeah. Before you turn I bet down you never thought it. you'd be living in New Jersey Hell before no. that, bro. When Ali yeah. called me, like, oh, to be the best, you gotta go to, to New Jersey. Like, I'm not. <laughs> fucking country, Corey comes in, he's got a blowout with a fucking gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> like I will not go to New Jersey. I can't. And now look at me. Yeah. You know what I mean, got I got two kids that's born in New Jersey. Yes, like, sir. I got Jersey. Met your babies. wife in Jersey. My wife is from Ellen, oh Wisconsin. Oh, she came here with you. Yeah, I didn't know that. She, I met her the first day I went. To gym. I did My not first know that. day to going to work with Ben Askin. She was working the front desk and signed me in. No, and shit. it wasn't. That was 2012, and it wasn't until why did I think after the Shogun fight? No, was it Shogun or yeah, after the Shogun fight, she had started a podcast, the first fight podcast, mm-hmm. and asked me to come on when I was back home. And, we made the coffee shop. I just remember looking at her in this blue dress. I'm like, damn, this girl's spot. Ooh. And ever since then, I just always text her and message her. And That's awesome, man. Well, you know it. We was hit it off. And then she came out to visit. And she's like, oh, I always wanted to live on the East Coast. And boom. Moved her into the Nappy's house. And now look at it. That's awesome, That's man. Yeah. Now you're a happy family. Happy family. Uh-huh. Four. Stopping at four? Done. Done? That's it, bro. You got boy, girl, so. I got I'll both. I'll give you that. Yeah. Got my boy first. 
Yeah, it's, I mean, I it's a good setup. It's a good setup. Rich man's family, right? That's what they call it when you have both. Yeah, as you know, I, that's why I'm glad we got. If we had boy, my third one, which I thought my third one would be a boy, because you'd have gone again, right? Renee wanted she to go. Right? I know. Yeah, I kind of honestly probably, probably not with I you, but you would have gone again. I mean, if money didn't exist, I would have more kids. Yeah, that's or time, even time. Like it's tough to give your love to all your kids, yeah, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. It is tough. I mean, it's not tough. You have a lot of love to get. I have a lot of, but like. Time. Time. Someone said. Someone said when you have more kids, you don't love one less. Your heart just gets bigger. Kind of makes sense. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Just, yeah, but what yeah. Frankie says like time. Like Jenny said all the time. Like right. with the first child, you only got the first child. Like she said with CJ, she's always holding CJ. She's always with CJ. But now Nina, our daughter, it seems like you're not giving her much time because she's going back and forth between CJ. Yeah. And CJ at the age where he's getting into stuff. Right. You gotta stay on him, discipline him. Potty training, so it's like right. Nina just be like chilling on the floor. Yeah. She just like she yeah. literally that's how she sits on the couch all day, one leg up on the on the table, just watch the TV, kicking it. And she said like I feel bad because with Nina, I feel like I don't give her enough time. As for CJ, he had all my time. Right. Yeah, right. But Nina doesn't know any better. No, she, no. Anytime right. you give her, she laughing and chuckling her little fat belly. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, well, the, the other thing too is when you have your first child, every, you're freaking out about every little thing, like. Every, you know, your house, you completely childproof everything. You get, by your second child, you're just like, fucking let it go. I'm good. Shit, you know? but a third one, or fuck. Yeah. <laughs> third one, you're giving. If, she, them, if you're he handing dies, them, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bloodsport. You, by the third one, you're handing That's him Rocky. a fork. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Rocky, Rocky. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said Bloodsport. <laughs> I just let him say it for a while, too. Just. <laughs> you want Bloodsport? Bloodsport was a great movie, man. Rocky's better, but Bloodsport was a great you make fucking trick movie. You with bricks. Yeah, yeah. That's Bloodsport. John Paul Van Damme. You break my record, <sighs> I break your friend. Dimka. <laughs> Dimka, the death touch. No, that's not blood. Oh, yes, yes it, it is. is. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Remember, to get into the tournament, you had to yeah. show the Dimka, the Dim-mock. death Dim-mock. touch. Dimak. Was it Dimka? Dimka. Dimak. I think it's Dimka, but all right. All right. The mock, the death touch. What's your favorite fighting movie? I know what you're oh, gonna say. Be. Oh, I'm gonna say Gladiator. Oh, that was pretty which one? damn good, which man. Come on, you know it's okay. one. You know it's <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, that's a good. Gla- one. You're funny boy. Is up Make me die. Mm. Top of the head, the hardest movie. part of the body. That's a great fucking yeah. movie. That's a great yeah. movie. Who is that actor? Is never around anymore. Never again. One hit wonder. Right. Cuba Gooding Jr. So yeah, that was like Cuba's yeah. first movie. That was his first movie. That was one of his first no. movies. Show me the money, wasn't that? His that was movie? before no, that Boys. Was to, that was for Boys in the Hood. Yeah, that Boys in the Hood. Boy. He was he was literally a high schooler doing Gladiator. Wow. He was young. Uh-huh. Boys in the Hood was like college yeah. age. Wow, I know that. Yeah, a good fight. Billy movie. the Hope. Rocky's the, probably the best fight movie. The they drug it on I'm, too long enough. No, no, but the original Rocky. Yeah. If you if you had just Rocky set alone, right. that's one of the best movies ever. So doesn't everybody say what was it, Rocky Four with Tommy? Um, no, that's five. Is that five? Yeah. A lot of people say that's the worst one. Yeah, people do. I don't that. think it was four. No. If it's five four, with Tommy Maris. I, listen, don't fuck with me, Rocky. Okay. Four. okay. Don't fuck with me, Rocky. Rocky you're, Four. If you're Rocky wrong, Four. We're never gonna let oh, you live okay. it down. Rocky, Rocky Four was what? With the Russian. That was okay. three. That one, not three no, is with Clubber Lang. No, bro, this dude, two dude, was Clubber Lang. Dude, Rock two was Apollo Creed the rematch. Don't fuck with me with Rocky. He bro. died in the beginning. What? He died in Rocky Four, motherfucker. Watch. Watch, dude. Are you serious? Shut up. Wow, the, the <laughs> viewers. Ain't Jeopardy. Our, our viewers are saying this dude's fucking retarded. Get him out of the room right now, <laughs> okay? Rocky one was Apollo Creed. Rocky two Apollo Creed. He won. Rocky three was Clubber Lang. Rocky four. Was the Russian Apollo Creed mm. died in the beginning of the movie? Mm. Rocky Five's Tommy Morrison. He's right. Tommy Gunn. Hey, Tommy Gunn. Dolph Lundgren right? was four. Then, yep. then Rocky Balboa. He fights fucking uh, the black dude. He came back. Yeah, but who fight? Who, that was like in 2011. No, who, I don't know. He fight. Who he fight? What's his I name? I can't remember the name. He was the heavyweight boxer. champ no, at the time. Um, yeah, he was the heavyweight champ at the time. No, 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 not the heavyweight. He he beat Roy Jones, I think. A um, cruiserweight. Oh my god! Because he just came back and Why fought on one of the Jake Paul fight cards. Yeah. The guy. Oh my god. His name. Tony, Tony, no. <coughs> <coughs> what is it, Raj? Like, it's just an exhibition match. No, you come right. out there and you try to hit me hard, I'm gonna make you pay. What's his name? It's written in real life. I can't oh my remember. god! And then you got Apollo Creed. The people on live and I looking at you like this guy's tough. Get him off. No, nope. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know the boxer's name. That Rocky. No, you know Rocky. In Balboa, right? you know Rocky, right? Drawing a blank. 
in the movie, put Rocky Balboa. Who, who's the who's the actor? What, wait, oh, the Rocky, Rocky Balboa, Balboa is the movie. When he came back all old and swole. Damn it! Oh my, I got the guy's face in my in my 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 head. Oh, he's gonna say the name of it. <coughs> Sounds like a COVID cough. It, is, it, it, it might be Omnicron. Wait, 2006? No. 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 Rocky Balboa. Was it? Wait a minute. Put in Rocky been, Balboa it movie. Might, it might have been 06. It might have been. Yeah. Been, yeah. Been, yeah. It was like either right when I finished high school or in college. I Come on, man. This guy This guy works the Google machine. It was the last place. Rocky when they came out with Then it was Creed. Well, then, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get to it. Don't worry. Go ahead, buddy. Roger, like 50. Antonio Tarver. There you go. He said Rogers like fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just know how to learn how you, learn how to use smartphones. Hell phones. yeah. <laughs> Dumb owners with smartphones. I wasn't really paying that much attention to you guys. I was, Antonio Tarver. Someone was trying to break into over my. You checking his Instagram. No, oh. someone was trying to hack into my Apple ID from Virginia. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, I don't know. It said, "Do you want to change your password?" I don't know if I should or you not. You should. Right? No, no, no. Because then they're gonna get the password. Right. Right. Yeah. So I don't know what to do. They didn't get in, right? From you know, Virginia. I, th- I think I had an ex that does that on my Facebook. Like, really? When was this? She used to always check my Facebook and then like. She would check your Facebook? Like, I would always look, log on and like uh, shit be changed. Like, what the hell? Like, my password would change. I had to reset uh, that's it. Grimy. And then uh, recently, like, it was probably like your Facebook, your password was trying to get changed. Did you do this? Like, you, you know, got hacked. I, 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 I think yeah. it was still my ex, like trying to get on, just check on me, even though she like married and shit, you know. Yeah. They can't let, it, they can't yeah. let a good one go, bro. <laughs> well, she's rocking up an MD if she wants to. She's just trying to intercept your DM. No, nah, she tried, and Jenny had to handle that ass. So uh, she did. Yeah. She called her up. I let her know right away. Like, yo, just so, she had messaged me, sent Jenny the phone. Like, just so you know, like I ain't looked yeah. this, and Jenny handled that. No so. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? You got a real one. Uh, That's it. <laughs> you let her do, to do the work. She DM'd her from your phone back? Well, she DM'd her from hers. Uh, she just gave it in. On the next day, I was blocked on everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. shit. She gave me the business. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had two. Well, that girl didn't really try, but I had another one. I came, went home for my fight party, and the ex from college tried to show up and try to act tough. And Jenny was still fighting at the time and couldn't wait. She just got up and like, you know what? I'm about to beat this. <laughs> she was like, I'm about to fight right Yo, now. Speaking of like, speaking nope. of that, speaking of girls fighting, did you watch that video I sent you today? I was dying. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They, this girl, you got to watch this video. Up. She lumped her up pretty good. Yeah, but you watched it all the way to the end? No. I, don't know. Well, I said watch it to the end. I texted did you. I, I think maybe they would These two me. chicks, I'll, I'll show it to Corey right now. These two chicks got into a fight. Looks like it's in like a locker room or something. And they're going at it, man. But one girl is definitely teeing off on this other girl she's winning she's definitely winning and she gets her down she gets on top of her and the other girl bites her right in the oh yeah i did see that oh, bites her right in the pussy uh, oh, bites her. Right in the pussy. <laughs> and they showed it they showed it the bite marks <laughs> like was it the lips or was it like, nah, on the nah, thigh? Nah, like okay. right on the side oh on the side. and they it showed the after it was it was right there yeah, it's right there, definitely. I'm gonna send it to you, Corey. You can watch it when at your. But not no lips. Be, she didn't get no lips. Though. I thought it was like beef. Like fat, I th- she, she was honest. I don't think I don't know if that's true. She was fucking screaming. Yeah, like it hurt, I, I, it hurt I, more the now. after picture looked. It looked, it looked, it looked like bite. it was like a little soft bite. Like it was. Yeah. It, it was, looked like that was right. Photoshop. Fo- fo- well, not yeah. Photoshop, but like it was. The skin wasn't even broken. This girl was latched on in that video. She was like, ah. She's screaming yeah. like yeah. the shock, maybe. like when Ramazan. <laughs> or maybe, bit me maybe. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he bit me with a mouthpiece, but like the shock of it felt like that Ramazan, shit was hurt. Ramazan, the Russians bit him. In <laughs> no, sparring. Yeah, really. Yeah, or sparring. And then Mark tried to blame me for like you made me go and like you. He said you was too big. Like that's my fault. Well, he got he got angry and bit you. Well, or? I was yeah. I took him down and then took his back. Yeah. And I was like grinding, find I missed, and he just grabbed on bit right down no on my forearm. Way. I remember like what the. I can't get my arm back. I'm like, ah, oh, he fucking biting me. <laughs> it like spits his mouthpiece out and just rolls up. Like, oh, coach, too big. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah, wow. but he weighed like 200 something, like 201. Yeah. Like, I was only 212. Like, I'm not that much bigger. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Mark got mad at me. I was like, you too big for him. I'm like, you made me you go with it. You got bit and he got mad at you. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, at least you didn't lose your ear or anything. Like Tyson. <laughs> Holyfield, I mean. I lost something in my ear. Yeah, well, it was kicked off your head. Hmm? I did. I think it got a piece of his you ear. You can feel kicked it. Off. You can feel it. Like Miller, right? Feel it right here. 
Why are you kick a piece of your ear off? <laughs> According to Frank, it went flying. <laughs> so I was missing? I feel it, but how did that happen? I got, when I fought Jim Miller, I think his toe nail hit it. I, either that or like it pinched off my head. I don't, I don't know how it happened, but you can see in the video, it flies off. It looks like my tooth. Like After, that guy that guy's, uh, Listen, it can't happen because that one girl, I, I can't. CFFC. Oh, got his finger ripped off? Yeah. How? He was, I don't know how, but they had to stop the fight. And when they showed the glove on his, all this was missing. His finger was in his glove. He had his oh, wedding ring. Oh, sleeve. They call it getting he, sleeved. But yeah. he had his wedding ring Wait, on. That's what it was. Sleeved. Get sleeved. It pinched oh, his Your bone off. is still there, but it peels the meat right off oh, the bone. No, his finger, the bone, oh, oh. everything was gone. Oh, it was. It okay. all the way well, off. He was wearing his wedding ring and yeah, his glove. You, glove. Can't, you can't do that. I don't know how, but they showed it on CFFC, and that's what wow. happened the next day. That's how it happens a lot with like wedding rings. Like his finger got... Ripped off or whatever, and it was in his glove. They couldn't find it. They stopped the fight. Like, we can't find the finger, blah, blah, blah. And they got in the back and took his glove off, did the medic check. It was inside his glove. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow, that's wild. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, I had that one light skinned kid come in for the Johnny Walker fight, and he ripped his ear off on like the cage or something. Well, the girl, who was who was the girl know, that yeah. got her ear kicked and it was hanging? That was when Juliana. Jessica, uh, uh, no, uh, not Pena. No, um, Leslie Smith. Yes, yeah, Leslie Smith. Yes. Jessica. That was that yeah. was a uh, her cauliflower exploded. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was hanging, man. Yeah, this kid that, that came from Philly, his ear was hanging. Like I'm in on the shot, and blood like dripping. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, stop, 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 stop. Like, what is that? He turned his head, and, like his ear was like Flopping folded over, down. Yeah. Like, yo, like really? he's like, I don't know how that happened. Like, he holding his ear together. Like, yo, what? Yeah, what happened to him? Goes to get stitched back on. Uh, he. I think he posted he either fought recently or got a fight coming up, but he never really fought in the area. I don't know. He used to go like Ohio and stuff to fight. Mm, he probably never got a. He couldn't hear the call from here. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. That's an East slapper. Dad joke. That was a dad, dad joke. joke. <laughs> dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> or a bad joke. One or the other. Yeah. Well, dad jokes are usually pretty bad. <laughs> that, no, dad jokes are solid. I mean, I say them all the time. I just. I'm a dad now, but I know. Bro. When you think about it, I'm like that was kind of dumb. Yeah, my kid always be like, "I'm thirsty, I'm hungry." I'm like, "How you doing, I'm Frankie?" <laughs> <laughs> That's just an old joke. <laughs> Dude, you gotta get them all the time. <laughs> it's not funny, Dad. It's funny. I say the so shit. That, I, I say the shit that that my dad said to me. Though. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I'm like, it hurts when I do this. So I'm like, well, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think my dad had many jokes. My dad wasn't a jokester. No. Neither was no. mine. No. My was, no. My dad was always serious. Like yep. to this day, it's it's sad. Like we'll be home. Like we had Thanksgiving. And we're all cracking jokes and laughing, and he went downstairs really? <laughs> to the theater room. And he was gone till everybody left. Like he just That's he don't thing. crack jokes. He don't laugh. He don't mm-hmm. watch stupid stuff on TV. Yeah. It's, what are you going to laugh about? Ain't he's, nothing funny. Like, it business. is pretty funny. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All business. Yeah, most people like that. That was my grandfather. My dad, you know, he's he, you could make him laugh, my grandfather. And he, he was he was a great guy. It wasn't like he was mean or anything. He just he didn't have a sense of humor like that, you know? Yeah, my dad talked shit. Like, when I come home and visit, we, me and my brother, we go at it. But when it comes time, like, cracking jokes and really? telling stories, he's just not into yeah, sitting yeah. around laughing and snickering. It's Nice <laughs> yeah, he'd rather be serious. Let's talk about work. Let's talk about the Bible. Let's talk about this stuff like that. So, when it come to fun, he just leave the room. Mm. Mm. Yeah, my 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 real father was silly. Yeah, even Frank, he's a little. He likes to joke around. A lot. Yeah, does he? Yeah, really? yeah. Frank seems pretty serious, man. Nah, he he's, he jokes. He, he jokes. I like. Yeah. I see him at like Jerry's or something <laughs> at the holiday events. He yeah, yeah he's ball breaker. Too. Yeah, I mean, well, around his people, I'm sure. Yeah. You know? It's crazy. I never met your real father or Renee's father or mother. No, yeah. My, well, my real father's dad. So. Yeah, I know that. I remember. Yeah, I yeah. didn't remember before. Yeah. What, what, year did, what year did you move here? 14. Oh, so you were here when oh, his dad died. I was here yeah. when his dad died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, was a, he, he was a pisser. He, he like those cracking shitty jokes. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, he yeah. was a dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> To him, it was hilarious. Yeah. To us, we're just yeah. looking like, did they even make sense? <laughs> now, now I fucking can't help it. I'm, I'm the same way. <clears throat> That's all right. You kind of got to be. You can't. You can't tell dirty jokes in front of your kids. You got to. Yeah. They got to all be dad jokes. You know what I mean? You can't say bad yeah. shit in front of your kids. Not yet. 
No. My daughter walks around singing that song A B C D F U and and I'm like you can't say that, Moni. She's like, why? I'm like, well, just, all right. If you don't know, just keep singing it. I guess you know. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, I heard that is that song. Who is that? F U. I don't know. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Some girl. I forget who it is. Yeah. I don't know. She sings it all the time, and I'm like, Moni, you can't sing that. I heard it. I heard it. Sings it everywhere she goes. Sure, your kids really be singing that, huh, Frank? My kids? Yeah. They ain't sing that. Uh, they say they words. Just, they just say the real words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when uh, Santino came to wrestling that time. What was that? Uh, he got big balls, whatever. <laughs> and he was like four or five at the time. He was uh, maybe a little older, but he was still a little kid. He started screaming at something, and he got big balls. I'm like, what the fuck? And Frank was like, yeah. Frank ran around Frank like, yeah. I said, see, I'm like, yo. Y'all white you, people crazy. I don't know my, do- my daughter, man, at two, she, could, she wouldn't say. She was saying motherfucker, motherfucker. At two? Motherf- at two years old. Bro. Oh. Renee used to put it on her Instagram. And Jenny used to show me, like, can you believe this? I'm yeah. like, yes, yeah, Eggers. <laughs> <laughs> of course I can. This is Eggers. Of course I can believe it. We went to dinner one time, and V was, I forget what it was. You had the kids there. I'm pretty sure it was V. Was, no, it might have been Tina. No, it was V. Was just a baby, and and you guys let her hold a steak knife, and she was like swinging it around, and I'm I'm like, oh my god, this kid's gonna stab somebody. No, no, you guys could have cared less. <laughs> the third Eggers. one, bro. Third one. The third one. The third one. It wasn't a butter knife. It was a steak knife. <laughs> no one got stabbed. Bro. Hibachi No one got stabbed. <laughs> oh shit. But being around niggers, like also, it made me like with my kids. Now we let them do a little more. Not as crazy as yours. They ain't holding no steak knives. <laughs> you know, let them just be more sure. kids. Yeah, kids you know kids. what I mean? Yeah. Gotta give them independence. Yeah, but see, I still put a limit to it as Edgar. Right. It's like, oh, they kids. Let them do it. Nah, it's like, <laughs> you're gonna cut that out. Jordan yeah. Peterson has a great quote about that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but, you know, you have to let your kids do dangerous things. You know, that's how they learn. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's something to that effect with limitations. You know what I mean? But that's how, okay, that's how I learned. I broke, I don't even know how many bones I broke in my life, but you know, don't regret any of them. They were all learning experiences and you pushing boundaries. And, you know, like I, I feel like I had a really, really good childhood because I could do what I want to do. I was always outdoors, always playing, always roughhousing, always doing. And, you know, the price you pay for that is you're going to break something once in a while, you know. And, you know, you're, you're, I, I think that it just makes you a little more resilient to the world and a little tougher if you have, have those freedoms where you can, you know. But I also but, go into how you grew up, though. Like, you grew up in Maine, which is a small town. I grew up right. in Rockton, which was, like, maybe it was 1,100 people growing up. Not even. Eight Frankie, like, time. here in the Jersey Shore, right. so more was, they didn't do the outdoorsy right. dangerous. Right. They did some dangerous things, but not like we did. And I'm not saying I'm not saying this is right, but I grew up with no protective equipment. My, my <laughs> parents didn't know what a helmet was. I post a video of my kids now going .2 miles an hour on a scooter. And all the Karens are like you, you. I, what the I, fuck I, is wrong I with you? I don't give a, a fuck about those Karens. No, I agree. But I mean, I, I, I I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I'm trying to emulate how I grew up. I grew up, and I, we didn't have any of that safety shit. You See now, with our dirt bikes and four wheelers, my dad always say use a helmet because he's a drag race. He right. drag race motorcycles at the time, so it was helmets was like the first thing we got. You know, we ride on the back of the motorcycle, whatever. Yeah. So make sure you wear your helmet on a dirt bike, snowmobile, four wheeler, go kart, whatever, bike, skateboard, and all that. Yeah. Helmets didn't exist. Yeah. Scooters right. and everything. Right. We didn't wear helmets. We didn't wear knee pads. None of that. No. My dad taught me how to ride a bike when I was well, I was trying when I was like four. I don't remember having knee pads. I used to no. fall. Oh, yeah. Everything. You just wipe up and get your scrapes. Get up. But dirt bike and stuff, that's different. He right. was like, respect that machine. You know, mm-hmm. that can kill you. Sure. That's power. And like nowadays, like CJ, I don't plan on having him wearing the helmet or kind of. For me, it kind of comes down to. Kids, it kind of yeah. comes down to like you said, like you know, power and speed. Like I, you know, I, I guess my kid should wear a helmet in the fucking tub. You know, if you're gonna ask people nowadays, but if my kids on, a, like you said, a motor, motor, motorbike, you know, dirt bike, whatever, something like that, I, they both have helmets. I'll put them on, you know. But like if they're on a scooter, I always yell at them, like put your, the the little ones. You know what I mean? If they're on the snowmobile, if they're on the dirt bike. I make them wear the full face, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I, if they're just on my street scooting around, I, I, I don't care that much. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, am I a bad dad for that? Yeah. No. Am I? <laughs> no. Really? No. I mean, I mean, like, don't ask me. Shit. The crazy thing though is like with a dirt bike and a four wheeler, right. so like off road. My kids I put have my helmet full. On right my, away. My kids my have full face helmets for that. I don't even like wearing a helmet on a motorcycle. Right. When I came to Jersey, I was probably one of the first ones to wear a helmet because the helmet's yeah. all here. Where I'm yeah. from, you don't have to have. Never. It. I, never I have it on the helmet. back of my bike, right. but I never really wear it. I, I like the Maine. wind in my face. I like that just. Rolling, yep. let the tears dripping through my eyes, flying. I didn't mind that, but same. No helmet on Maine. I never wore a helmet till I moved to Jersey. 
you know. Fucking jersey just soft, bro. <laughs> I it, it is it is. I mean, I hate seatbelt laws. Why is it because you feel like you should have? I should. Fr- I, if I don't want to wear right, a fucking right, seatbelt, right, Frankie don't like anything he don't want to do. If somebody yeah. tell him he has to do it. That's yeah, when he has right, a problem. You're right, you're right. He right. had this conversation right. like I don't, I don't have a problem with is the fact somebody telling me you're I gotta right. do it. What's over? Like, oh, it's <laughs> where does where does where does? No, but but I could wear a fucking. <clears throat> I could ride a motorcycle with right. the even with the helmet. I ain't wearing a fucking. I can't have a seatbelt on my fucking right. motorcycle. Right. But you want to put a helmet in your car? No. <laughs> exactly. Don't it's say like, that because okay. they will. That's yeah. next. But I'm saying that's the thing. It's either a helmet on the motorcycle. We were just talking or a last. On the car. last yeah, but thing you go to other, like you said, you don't need a helmet. You don't have a fucking no. place. No. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this or not, but last episode we were talking about this. They're 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 trying to right now pass. It's in an infrastructure bill, but they're trying to be able to pass the the ability to put kill switches in all new vehicles so they can shut you down. Yeah, all around it's the just, world. Just no, just in the, in the no, US. just in the U.S. But. I mean, just the overreach now is getting insane. You like, know? Put a kill switch Imagine in they, that the government controls. Right. Like, I'm in a high-speed chase or something. Or yeah. in the middle of traffic, er- erra- looking for erratic, the button. Erra- the erratic driving. You know, now your car or fucking can... fucking anything. Well, what if you know? there's, like, this guy, you know... You swerve to miss a deer, and that's they're going to shut you down because that's erratic driving. You know, but how crazy then, is I that? I think that's just, that shit don't even make sense. It's overreach. Say it's we're overreach. in a heavy traffic, and you just hit my button, right. and the cars are behind me. Now you got a 12-car pileup because right. I know where my car just shut down. Yeah. It's, like, that's smart. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like you said, the control is too much. The censorship, the control, supposed everything. supposed to live in the yeah, freest bad. country in the world, and it's becoming no, well, that's so like most which, regulated. Uh, the Biden trying to pass the mandatory vaccination or whatever, and they denied, and they mm. sent them a... A copy of the Constitution, just so you know, like this right. is against people's rights. It's, Carhartt's taking point. a lot of heat right now. Yeah, they uh, came out with a letter. The CEO put the letter out that said, even though the mandate was shot down, we're still requiring all of our employees to be. And I, and I think the issue for them, because there's, there's a lot of companies do it, but I think the issue with Carhartt is their their target audience, their demographic is the blue like collar worker, yeah, and a lot of those people it. are against it. So you pissed a lot of people off, yeah. you know. Like I got on my. Outdoors, <clears throat> Instagram, mostly all hunters and all that, and I see in these stories, they always like Carhartt. Yeah, forgot yeah, about the people that really wear right, stuff. Yeah. They got these kids wearing their hipsters with hoodies right. and, or with a beanie in the Carhartt. They don't know anything about Carhartt work. Or, exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah. How about the truckers, bro? In Canada, you guys are gonna save the fucking world. I, I, listen, if you think about it, everything moves by truck, bro. It yeah. could, it could be the last line of defense. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, that's been everything for years. Truck. Let trucks all stop driving and watch how the world fall behind. It, it really, it there's an everything. incredible amount of power in that. Incredible amount of control that it is with, you know, logistical drivers. You know, it really is. So people say, "Oh, you can transfer ship or planes," but the you trucks can't are the one that lo- deliver exactly. it. To everything, here and there. every product you can think of gets delivered by a truck. But uh, I, what is it now? You you can't you can't. Be a driver from the U.S. and go into Canada. I don't think anymore, unless you're vaccinated. Well, you can't go to Canada, period, unless you're vaccinated. Right, right. So like, a lot I'm of trouble. A lot of hunts right now because I'm not vaccinated, Fuck so I can't Canada. go. Yeah. Fuck Canada. Yeah. No, I mean, a lot of them I, aren't happy. I, about no, I it. love Canada. I, don't, I, don't, I had a great no, time no, in Canada. No, fuck Canada. Canada. There's a lot of people in Canada that are just like Canada us. Canada government. Fuck the Canadian government. Okay, the government. Fuck that tyrannical Canadian goose government. Okay. Because no, it's not cool. Trudeau, right? Trudeau. Trudeau. He's a clown, bro. Yeah, I had a mm-hmm. couple hunts that I was supposed to go out in the last two years. And like, oh, we got the hunt saved up for you. Like, well, might as well give it away because I can't get in without the vaccination. So, right. like, dang, that sucks. But, I mean, it I ain't going to go ahead and get tested or get shot with something just to come hunt. Exactly. I got nah, plenty of deer I can shoot I'm in the good. U.S. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I have a, a good friend of mine I just heard from today in Maine, girl, nurse, and uh, they terminated her because she wouldn't get you know, it's always you hear about it. it. Happens to tons of people. When it happens to someone that you're close with, you know, it hits a little closer to home. You know, mm-hmm. she refused, and, and uh, but then you like the Carhartt thing, saying the blue collar guys. Uh, and like I said, I know a lot, a lot of the hunters that are mad about it. But at the same time, they were all against the vaccine. They're not going to do it. But I know a lot of those guys have been going over to hunt in Canada. I know if you went to hunt in Canada, you have to get vaccinated. So you go get vaccinated to go get right. to go hunt. But you're against the fact is kind of like what frankie said like i don't mind it but you're trying to make me do it That's i problem. get what you're saying because i i know people who are against it didn't want to get it but they want to go on vacation yeah they want to go to some tropical island they yeah. got it so they're like i got it just to go on vacation well it's not a hill it's not a hill you're ready to die on yeah. then it wasn't that like, important i want to do a lot of things but i'm not right. gonna get tested or no. shot just to no. go do it like 
I never leave the United States again because I heard, it's I heard fun to go to me. Africa, you have to get a bunch of fucking shots. Like, if I can't drive my RV there, you ain't I don't going need to go. Yeah. Nah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. I, I'm. I got stuck in Mexico for a little bit. Well, my yeah. wife did. It's a little scary. I'm not trying to go nowhere. America's big enough to to see some. Nice it's got places. enough. It offers enough. It we really just have does. to. We just have to save what's left of it. Or yeah, this you is know. True. So I'm trying to get a big enough land in, in uh, Indiana. Well, so come out and see it. Go do some the, hunting out there. In the, Jersey getting I'll bad. Be, uh, and you got to leave. I'll we have a trailer for you. Away. You're back. You're back. Hey, come stay in the RV. There you go. Is Indiana pop, red every year? It must be, right? Most of the time. Yeah. yeah. From, from the majority of the elections that have been red. Sure. Yeah. That's like right now, like the coat, the school out there, Marion, went out there to wrestle. When I was out there looking for houses and I went to wrestle. I asked him, like, yo, most universities, you got to be vaccinated to go. He was like, oh, no. They tried to push it here, but it's not really bad. Like, half our guys are and half aren't. We'd rather them be because they don't have to get tested. But if you're not, you just get tested. So mm. it's not a big deal. So that's cool. Like, if I was a coach, I had to get vaccinated and all that yeah, to be yeah, there. Yeah. Mm. So Fuck most that. schools, like, oh, you want to be here? You got to get vaccinated and stuff like that. But if it's red, like you said, the schools are more lenient in that area. Mm. Yeah. You don't have to be vaccinated. You can wear a mask or whatever. Unfortunately, we're blue state year after year after year after year. It was close this year, I heard. But, uh, I don't believe the governor race, anymore. you mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't do any problem. I don't pay attention to none of that. But Jenny swore. It was, like, it was so close. It was like, No, it's bullshit is what it was, I think. Mm -hmm. You think they, they got one and they... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I there mean, was a there was another odd voter dump at one like thirty in the morning. They, I, I don't know if it was Sussex County or Bergen County at, at, at eleven o'clock at night or whatever. Like one thirty. They yeah. said a hundred percent of votes were in, and it was won by this guy. In the morning, they got forty thousand votes out of nowhere. How do, if a hundred percent hundred percent of votes are in? How how they how mm. they you know, and you know, and then also I, I, later on they said this is the least voter turnout. In, How is that possible? In, in ever, ever. Like, How is that in, possible? I'm like, there's no way. There was ten. We had ten days to vote this time, mm. the first time ever. You're telling me less people voted? And don't you? I feel don't like believe it. Ch Chitterelli didn't even fight it. Like nah, he just, he, he just really kind of walked down, away. I mean, he did make that one speech. I was like, I was excited. I thought, yeah. He's like, please then, then don't do anything down. yet. I, I, I and then he you, just we don't know the away. we don't know the ins and outs of how it works. But yeah, it seemed like he kind of bent over and. Spread his legs and grabbed Took his that ankles. Lotion, and huh? grabbed his ankles. Took it that was... lotion in the back room. Seven <laughs> eyes lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I went hunting that morning. I went to woods like 4 a.m. I remember somebody posted from the night before about tomorrow is a big day. Hopefully Murphy is gone. I remember as I was climbing, I just really hope this election don't go like the Trump and Biden. It's just smooth. We don't hear mm -hmm. all this stuff. And by the time I got home from the woods, my phone, everybody's still like, oh, it's happening again. They out here, they cheating. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go another go. week of reading yeah, everybody's yeah. post about how to scam. You even mentioned that at all. Immediately, you're labeled a conspiracy yeah. theorist. You know what I mean? Like, it's, cr it's crazy. Like I said, we don't watch the news in my house. I don't know. No, nah, I don't really election. watch the news either. No, nah, so I'm. I'm but a, but I, honestly, I'm not blind to what's going on, though. No. Like I tell my dad and Jim, like we talk about this shit at the gym every time. Every time I get to Ricardo's on Monday or yeah. Friday, somebody talking about the newest topic, so I figure out it all. Yeah, you right get there it. You get it. it. Yeah, it's true. Like I just don't want to watch the news where they corrupting you and no, no, but it's not the news. I don't watch the news either, but like I watch, I follow certain people, I guess you could say. Yeah, there's certain people that you yeah. know is giving you true yeah. facts, right. known right. of research, like a Joe Rogan that does his research. And knows yeah. I'm telling you, he's talking. like he's like the best news source these days. He really is. Pretty much, he has. They're trying to get, and they're trying to can't you see what Neil Young did. No. Neil Young said it's either me or Joe Rogan on your. Sp I'll see you. I'm gonna remove my catalog. He he since has removed that post. Really? But what happened? To living in the free yeah, world, yeah, yeah. rocking in the free world. Not no more, motherfucker. You wow. don't like free free shit. You know? Come on. This is America. <laughs> scary, bro. It's scary where we're heading. It really is. Now you see DeSantis just posted something today about how they're, they're literally taking, taking, taking yeah, and they work, they yeah, fucking work, and they're saying they don't work it. for Omicron. But okay, well, how do you know these people have Omicron? Right. You know, I don't know. It's just uh, crazy world we're living scary. in. But that's all you can say is scared. It's scary. All right, what so else Corey, scared? Corey, tell tell everybody. I think blinking, bro. Battery dying. That's the record. No, no, no. No, it wasn't blinking before. Yeah. Um, plugged in. Tell everybody where they can follow you. 
You can follow me on Instagram at Corey A underscore MMA. That's Instagram and Twitter. Or Outdoors with Overtime. You can check out the YouTube channel also at Outdoors with Overtime. Hopefully we get Champ on the Tramp on there for a special episode. Yes, but, uh, sir. I yes, like sir. That. I like that I'm hat, gonna, by the way. I'm going like to put an arrow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put an arrow. Time. I'm going to put an arrow up. right through Roger's fucking ass. You're going to shoot one of your kids if you don't stop shooting into your garage, man. Or your wife. Maybe that is that your plan? Mm. That, oh, <laughs> Renee. now it all makes never, sense. Never, all never, right, never. All I'd right. be lost without my lady. Okay, yes, you would. You would. I would be. I'd have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. That's horrible. She's gonna be happy with that comment. Yeah, <laughs> we can edit that out. All right, Cor. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, Thank man, you for coming time, in, man. Catching. Always a good time with you, good man. Time right. Catching up. Let's Thank go. Next time on. we talk, you're gonna be the fucking Grand Prix champion. Bell, no. Bellator light heavyweight champ and uh, a couple more deers on your fucking rack, all right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Peace.